Well, well, well. What have we got there? A new emote. A new emote of waka waka. Waka waka. <laughs> we might have to we might have to do a little zoom in on that emote. I just plugged it in two seconds ago. But it looks pretty good. Made by Anne, of course. Anne be making all the art these days. Mm-hmm. It's true. The shop giveaway helper. <laughs> Oh my god, that is such a bot username. I'm telling you. I'm telling you What's up? Welcome in. Welcome in. My favorite not a bot <laughs> Anne, how are you doing? I'm sorry. I couldn't play V rising. I was too busy. I was watching Chainsaw boy Ch chainsaw man. Oh I just got this random inkling to, to watch that show, so I did. Boom! Aerosimp, what's up? The Wishly Boy, welcome in! Oi, 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 oi! Now it's time for me to say, Hello, gamer! Welcome to the stream! I hope you're doing excellent! Mario! Luigi! Gamer! Y'all are gamers, right? We're all gamers here, right? Mm hmm, mm hmm. Oh, and my hair is. Uh, strange in a strange uh, zone. It's between beautiful and ugly. I don't know which one it is. I, don't, I think it's it's like it's like beautiful hair, but it's also but it also looks really weird. And uh, eh, <laughs> I, I don't know what to do with it. Eh, I washed it for the first time. Eh, it does it doesn't work out very well. I need to get a curling iron, to be honest. But who cares about my appearance? What really matters is your appearance. How are you looking? Good. You're looking good, okay? Y'all all look great. You look fantastic today. Did you do something new with that with with that face? Or has it always been like that? Not uh, I don't know. I don't know. Has your face always looked that good? Cotton candy hair? Mm -hmm. It's cotton candy. I I uh <laughs> This came out of a machine. Came out of a machine. It's, this is just fluff. It's just fluff. This ain't real hair. <laughs> You're looking stressed. That's all right. That's all right. It suits you. It suits you. You look. You look great, stressed, Witchley boy. I gotta say, I gotta say, it's a good. It's a good look for you. It's a good look. I mean, you'd look even better not stressed. But I gotta say, it's it's working. It's working out for you. <laughs> it's purple, purple hair. You got the purple hair. This is the pointless hair that I've ever had, for sure. Yes, gamer. <laughs> gamer. Why? Why's everything gotta be gay these days? You know what I'm saying? It's <laughs> everything's gotta be gay. You gotta make everything a rainbow these days. It ain't right. Uh, you look exhausted. That's what you look like. You look like a purple squirrel. Oh. <laughs> okay. So you're basically saying you would make a great pet. You would be you'd make a you'd make an adorable pet and an even more adorable mascot. Okay, everybody loves that emote. And you just gave yourself a compliment. Real men wear purple hair. That's true. SpongeBob, if you want to be a real man, you've got to dye that wait, SpongeBob doesn't have hair. <laughs> if you want to be a real man, you've got to dye that sponge purple. You're not manly enough. <laughs> Do I, do I look better now? Yes, purple, perfect. Can I bonk you yet? No, no, no bonkage. There's no, I haven't done anything wrong. Uh, you can bonk me as soon as I make a mistake, but I haven't made a single mistake yet. The Scarlet Violet Drop is right around the corner. Yes, yes, that's what I'm excited for. We're playing tomorrow, day one. Day one Pokemoning. And uh, I think I'm gonna, I was thinking about pre-ordering it digitally, but you know what? I just cannot shake. I cannot shake the need and want to have. I cannot shake the need and want to have physical media. There is literally no reason for me to download this game uh, rather than just purchase it, okay? What do I get it a few hours earlier? And then I can never sell it. I, you can never sell a digital game. It has literally no value. The only thing that it does is that it, it saves you from moving cartridges. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. I, I'm just gonna go to the store and get a cartridge so that I can sell it one day for like, I don't know, 20 bucks or something like that. I mean, it's 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 better than having literally nothing. Nintendo could just rip those digital files off any old time. Furry! <laughs> Y'all just activating everything right now. Hey! These these these, <laughs> these things have not been optimized in my human head yet. 
<laughs> Alyssa, thank you for the head pats. And what's up? Welcome in. We're going to be playing a trippy game. We're all going to be doing a. We're doing an experiment today. This will be an experiment. Uh, we're going to be playing a game that will simulate what it's like to be high. That's right. None of us are high right now, right? But we're all gonna. But we're all gonna be playing a game nice. that's gonna convince us that we are. <laughs> Your block of ch chess. <laughs> You're a block of chess. Oh no, a whole block of strategy. I'm scared of chess. Chess is too hard. I don't know. <laughs> Honey puff. Honey puff, now you keep that to yourself now. You keep that to yourself now. I want to be high. Wait, no. <laughs> Listen, I mean literally high up. This is a game that's set in an airplane. We're, we're all pretty close to the ground, you know, pretty close to sea level. But this game is going to make us feel like we're up in the air. Up in the air, so high. So high up in the air. Uh, ah, it, I get here and it's 11 p.m. tonight for pre-orders from GameStop here. Yeah, I didn't even pre-order it from GameStop. I'm just going to walk in and hope that they have a spare copy. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. And you know what? I'm feeling kind of lucky today. Normally they got a, a normally they got a couple extra in the back because somebody pre-ordered and they canceled it. And you know what? If it doesn't work out, I go to a different store. You won't catch me giving a crap. No way. Also, Mandy, what's up? How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Oi, oi, oi. We'll be getting into the game soon. I just like to chill in the chat for a little while and just and just talk with people, you know? Give them a little update. Give them an update on, on what I did in the past like six hours that I've been away. <laughs> You won't believe. There's a crazy update. I got. I got to give y'all the big update. But first, but I can't. I can't just spoil it all. My goodness, so much has happened. I. You won't believe it. I stayed up all night doing literally nothing. I. There was so much of nothing done last night. I watched a movie and I and I 100%ed. <laughs> this is. This is a little bit cringe. But I. I 100%ed. Uh, power washing simulator. Let's go. <laughs> I got every achievement. Woo, woo, woo. I did every single challenge. <laughs> I beat the entire game. Whoopee. It's, it was really tough. It was really tough. I'll tell you what. There was a lot of really tricky challenges. Nothing like power washing and some, some elite gaming. I'll tell you what. Good thing that I played it last night. Because now I'm all warmed up to play another very serious game. Yo. Lucky number! Let's go, Shiva! Thank you for the 13 months! You were lucky number there. How'd you know that was my lucky number? That is my lucky number. Listen, I've said this. It's an old, tired bit, but you know what? You do the bit every single time. The bit is that everybody thinks that 13 is an unlucky number, so that means that nobody's harvesting the luck out of it, so that means that it's got some extra luck in there. So I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. Everybody's like... Making, making buildings not have a 13th floor, making sure that things don't have 13 steps. So I get to harvest all that good luck, okay? Everybody else has all these lucky numbers. Nobody picks number 13, because they're all scared of it, but it's just as lucky as the rest of them. In fact, even more so, because people be avoiding it. So th thank you so much for the sub. What's up, Shiva? How are you doing? How are you doing? You love the purple hair? Thank you, Mandy. I actually did, I did this for charity. Of course, I love the color purple and I thought it'd be a good look, but I uh, I dyed my hair because we we raised $1,000. We raised more than that, but but the purple hair was $1,000 to Gamers Outreach, which makes uh, these little carts for kids that are in the hospital. And, uh, and it just gives them like games to play while they're, while they're healing and stuff. So it was for a good cause. It was for a good cause and it also looks good. It looks good, it feels good, and it's, it's all thanks to this lovely community. So don't let me be taking all the credit, okay? Listen, that was, that was y'all. That was all y'all. The hair is the, the hair is the same color as half of mine. Oh, wow. Blue Jay, are we, are we half twins? Are we, are we previously conjoined twins? <laughs> and I took, I took half the hair. <laughs> That's cool. Which which part of your hair is is purple? How how are you splitting it? Is it split down the middle, or is it like just in the back, or the tips, or or what? How much how much of your hair is purple? And well, give me the details. I've got to know. 
Yours is blue. You want to match? No, don't. Don't dye that poor hair. <laughs> the poor hair's been dyed enough. I already, I felt pretty bad about, about doing more processing on my hair. So they gave me the option of bleaching it or no. And I was like, can we get away with not bleaching it? And they were like, yep, your, your hair's already the right color. And I was like, thank goodness. <laughs> my poor strands. My poor strands don't deserve to be bleached again this soon. It's a pretty share, uh, pretty shade, and it'll hopefully uh, fade into a nice pastel silvery color. Um, they said that it might, it might fade into a violet, possibly, hopefully. Like best best case scenario, it'll go to like yeah, a, a, a pastel purple. But if it completely disappears, it's no big deal. And uh, you never know. I might, I might uh, just uh, shave off all my hair again. Could just happen. Okay, last time I got long hair. I shaved it all off, shaved my eyebrows and my beard, and I look like an egg. So you never, you never know. You, you never know. This hair is as scared as you are. <laughs> I guarantee it. Pedro, what's up? How are you doing? Dad wrestler, how are you doing? Dad wrestler was just telling me that that they're making a DayZ server over there. I'm excited for that. I just saw that DayZ got updated with uh, achievements, which is super cool. And uh, yes, I'm absolutely a sucker for achievements. So I'm immediately like, okay, I need to replay this game. And I never, I, I, I just like stopped playing it after we played, uh, dad. I was, I was having fun with that group, but then I tried to play some solo and I was like, this, this is not the same magic. I need the homies. I need the homies for it to be fun. Oi, oi, oi. Also, thank you for the follow, Mandy. I appreciate it. It's nice to meet you. Where the heck did you come from? Christina, what's up? We missed you too. Oi, oi, oi. Where have you been? Oi, where have you been, Christina? I could have swore that you were around here somewhere. And now you turn up. You turn up as soon as we stop looking. Uh, you've been wanting to color your hair a bright color. And then you, and then hand in a two weeks notice, but you're trying to hold off till you get a bonus. Let's go. <laughs> the bonus timing. That's smart. Haka, Haka, you've got strats. Those are the good strats. Also shiny. How dare you try to scare me? How dare you? Also, hi, it's good to see you. Shiny. We're playing super liminal. Super, super liminal, which is basic. Is that like the opposite of liminal? Like the li the liminal spaces that, that the internet is obsessed with right now, where it's like spaces in between walls and like awkward, awkward, weird spaces that are worthless. What is super liminal? Is that a, is that a fake word? Did we make up that word? Solo is much different. Yeah, so, solo day Z is, could y'all stop? <laughs> what did I do? What did I, what did I do to, to, to deserve a bonk, huh? Huh, give me a, whoop. Freaking gnomes too! <laughs> Get these out of here! I'm gonna have to put all these things on cooldown. Y'all are all in trouble. Y'all about to be thrown in timeout. I'm gonna have to make a dunce hat that I can put on on chat themselves. I, I don't know how I'm gonna put chat on the screen yet. Maybe y'all are the among us in the background. I think that that's y'all because y'all always acting sus. So maybe I'll put a dunce hat on that thing whenever you're naughty. Whenever you're naughty. Whenever you're sassy. You're sassy barkers, every one of you. Uh, you deserve because you are so awesome, Kenny. What? What do I deserve? <laughs> bonks? Why do I deserve bonks for being awesome? Innocent Alex, no you. No you. Like I said earlier, y'all are all looking pretty good today. Pretty good. Two thumbs up from the Earl. Oi, oi. It's good to see you, Alex. Uh, oh, I am seeing the head pats. I'm missing the Catboy Earl. I was just thinking about a way. I was just thinking about a way to bring Catboy Earl back into the streams. So for anybody that wasn't there for like a month, I did a PNG tuber and I want, I want it to be like, I want it to be both. I want to have both. Okay. I want to have my cake. I want to eat it. And I think I'm, I, I've been, I've been doing knowledge, knowledge thinking about how I can make a cool transformation and maybe let y'all control it. I might let y'all control whether it's VTube or, uh, or camera. We'll see. I'm trying to come up with a way that will make it like not too jarring and, uh, y'all can't switch it too often. You sorry suckers. Cause y'all are just going to be like flipping this, flipping the switch on and off and on and off. So I got to make sure that I keep y'all, keep y'all under control. You bunch of you bunch of naughty suckers, bonking with a cardboard tube is an expression of love. 
<laughs> in what in what country? <laughs> what country are you from? Not in America. <laughs> the baseball bat, baseball bat is not a sign of love. Not not in the states. I I'm sorry to tell you. I'm I'm okay. Struggling with a broken sleep routine again. What's that like, Alex? I literally didn't sleep last night. So we're gonna play this game that is surely gonna make me question whether I'm awake, asleep, or whether it's a dream or a nightmare. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be completely guessing. This game is gonna fry my fry my uh, my unslept brain. Uh, but you have new medication coming in, says Christina. Uh, so the nightmare should be put on bay. I'm sorry that you haven't been sleeping good. That sucks. That sucks. Uh, you've been so busy with your master's degree, your sleep schedule has been thrown off because of nightmares. Ah, that's rough. I have I have had some weird dreams myself recently, but I don't know. I normally just chalk up bad dreams for me personally, just because of the way that, that my brain works. My brain, I feel like... Uh, it, it's just like processing stuff. So if I have a bad dream, I wake up and I'm like, huh? I normally like note to myself and like I, I should be writing this stuff down. I need a dream journal But each time that I have a bad dream, I normally will wake up and be like stop Why why did I have this bad dream? What what in here scared me? What in here made me uncomfortable? Like what what is this dream telling me like? It feels it feels like my my subconscious is just like dumping information while I'm sleeping So if I have a bad dream that it's always like there's got to be there's got to be something to it What would make me so scared? And it's normally social anxiety. That's that's the thing that gets me That's that's the thing that like bothers me the most in my life right now. It's just social anxiety So it's it's normally tied with that like oh you're having to speak in public or oh What if you were in a friend group where where everybody knew each other, but you didn't know anybody? <laughs> that's normally that's normally my nightmares. There's no like there's no clowns. There's no avalanches. There's there's nothing violent or scary. It's just it's just me feeling awkward. That's that's my idea of a nightmare. <laughs> it's very very tame, very tame. Hey, Alchemix here. Let's go. Oi, oi, oi. Alchemic, how's your day going? How's your day going, my friend? Oi, oi. Uh, so you analyze to understand your own needs. It's very healthy. Oh, Amiris, what's up? How are you doing? I'm just saying, listen, my dreams are different than everybody's dreams. Some people don't dream. Some people's dreams don't mean nothing. Sometimes my dreams don't mean anything. I'll wake up and I won't remember anything and I'll just be like, me feel bad. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you just have a bad dream and you don't remember it and there's nothing to be done. <laughs> That's, it's just a shame. Anne's dreams can be nightmarish, okay? I've seen Anne's dreams. Anne has drawn dreams and explained dreams to me, and it is like, Anne, you need to write a horror novel. Like, you need to use this as fuel for creativity because it's legitimately interesting stuff. Like, it's, it's creative fuel. You should use the darker sides of your psyche to fuel your creativity. That's what people do all the time. That's what people do for, well, you probably shouldn't do it for acting. That's that's a bad idea. But it's it's a good idea to like, you know, take those negative feelings and turn them into art. You're an artist. You're an artist, Dan. Come on, make some art. Make some, make some vent art. Where's the vent art channel, huh? I'd follow that. Where's the really, really strong black lines? Really, really, really disturbing titles. That's That's what I wanna see. Come on, vent art is 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 widely widely criticized, but I I don't know. It fe it feels like a way for you to get those feelings out, and if it makes beautiful art out of it, then great, you got an outlet. I know that people do that for for music a lot. Like people, all this all the music that I listen to is sad music that the creators are just venting with, and then uh, the people like me get to enjoy it because I'm like. I, I totally relate with this and it makes me feel less alone, you know? I don't like listening to happy music when I'm sad. I don't, well, I don't know if I like looking at happy art when I'm sad. I think I, I will generally watch, like if it's, if it's watch something, I'll be like, I'm in a bad mood. It's time to watch some tragic stuff. <laughs> That's normally how it works for me. I've said that to my roommate several times where he's just like, Oh, I want to I want to watch this or that and I'm like nah 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 nah. We need to watch something depressing. I'm in that I'm in that mood again 
The most I'll say about my nightmares is that they're always lucid. And no, not the lucid dreams. Lucid dreams are the worst. I don't like them. I know that pe people encourage lucid dreaming and like and try to make it happen. Not for me, fam. Not interested. Also, I'm pretty sure that lucid dreams. This is complete conjecture, but I think I've heard this somewhere. So you can correct me if I'm wrong. Don't take this with a grain of salt. But I've heard that lucid dreams are not as restful as as non lucid dreams. That's what I've heard. I have no idea how they could ever measure that. Maybe maybe they just literally ask people whenever they woke up. Do you feel rested? That could be all that it is. It, it could be completely si not scientifically based at all, but it's what I've heard. And it kind of makes sense. Uh, so I don't know. Your brain's working on overtime. It's supposed to be resting. <laughs> you let that brain rest, you hear me? Your cat decided to sit between you and your keyboard. Guess it's lurk time. Yes, lurk it up. Haka, don't don't make that cat uncomfy. Don't don't you wake up that cat. You pet that cat or you ignore that cat, but don't you dare move it. <laughs> One of your nightmares gave you an existential crisis for an entire week. See, you got a vent. You got a vent, Anne. You can't, you can't be keeping all those feelings inside. Share them. <laughs> Share them to the world. Mmm, salt. Yummy. Nightmare art. Nightmare art. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> also, Kim, I don't think that I specifically said hi to you yet, but hello. I'm pointing at the camera a lot today because I want to say hello, Kim. Hope you're having a good day. Oi, oi, oi. Ew, sharing feelings. <laughs> no more sharing. You didn't yet. Hi, Earl. <laughs> See, I remember. I remember, Kim. I'm not going to forget you. I don't forget you, all right? Fluffy dog. Where's the fluffy dog? Where? Where's the fluff? Am I the fluffy dog? <laughs> Hopefully not. Uh, oy, 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 oy. You have vent art, but you but you keep it to yourself. Yeah, I mean, there's, not, there's nothing wrong with making art that you don't share. That's totally valid. Thank you for the sippies, Rosera. I'd say we're about ready for... Uh, gaming but i was gonna say yeah we're definitely we're gonna be playing um have y'all seen okay oh first uh, first i'll respond to what amiris is saying about dreams though the dreams we remember or could interact with in other stages of sleep those that relax us maybe it's why you remember or believe that hmm. the dreams that we remember or could interact with are other sleep stages than those that relax us. Yeah, that's probably what it is. It's just other, it's just different stages of sleep, you know? Different different amounts of brain activity, probably heart rate, uh, like, and and eyeball movement, because that's what REM is, right? It's it's rapid eye movement. So I'm sure that they've, they've measured all those things and determined what's like the most restful. And I'm guessing that they've determined that lucid dreaming is less restful, but still, I'm not sure about that. Don't, don't, don't take my word on it. I mean, who would quote me anyway? He'd be like, well, this guy on the internet told me. <laughs> Your mom's like, that's not how it works. I'm a, I'm a registered nurse. I'm, I'm telling you, that's not how dreams work. And you're like, but the Earl of Sun said it. <laughs> but he said it, mom. <laughs> He's a legitimate source. He watches YouTube videos all the time. REM faces are for sorting memories and feelings, as far as I remember. Yeah, it sounds about right. Dr. Kinney. Yes, you can call me, you can call me Dr. Earl. <laughs> Dr. Earl at your service. You can't remember, and you're pretty sure you studied this. What? Shiver. Shiver, you better dig around in that brain. Maybe you'll dream the answer later. You could, you could dream the answer about dreaming. And then you can get back to us. Make sure that you get that dream journal out. <laughs> Dr. Sudsy. <laughs> Dr. Sudsy ready to wash your brain clean. Let's crack open that skull, get the soap, get some water, and clean that brain. Only good vibes around here. Tam Tam! Speaking of good vibes, what's up? Hey, you're not a cat anymore. Well, I could be a cat. You're not I could be a I could go grab my cat ears, okay? I could be a cat. I could be if I wanted to. Yeah, we're we're taking a little break from the PNG tuber. It's gonna, it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be all over the place. Sometimes it'll be live action, sometimes it won't be. You know what? You'll just have to, you'll just have to keep your eyes peeled. You'll just have to peel them. Peel those eyes. Who knows what'll happen? The stream has now turned unpredictable. It has been entirely predictable for the two plus years that I've been streaming. But now, 
Now's when you don't know what's going to happen. Anything could happen. I could turn into a different person right now. You wouldn't even know. I could, I could swap brains with somebody. <laughs> Gotta keep them guessing. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. That's my job as a creator. Is to make sure that I'm not giving you content that you paid for. <laughs> also, Tayaki. What's up? Tayaki P! You're here! Thank goodness. It doesn't feel like a stream without Tayaki. <laughs> which two which two years were predictable? Asking for a friend. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it hasn't been predictable this whole time. There's always something changing. Every month something changes. Something something explodes. I burn something. I I change my appearance drastically. I change the schedule drastically. We play completely different games. You never know. There's always something new. My friend offered their flannel. And I didn't think at all and said, that's too lesbian. <laughs> hey! Hey! Aerosimp, how dare you? How dare you? I honestly... Do I care about what my clothes exude? Do I care? I think I don't. I don't think that I analyze the way that people will see how I'm presented. I think I, whenever I design an outfit that I'm wearing about town or on a trip or something the only thing that i have in mind is making sure that the outfit is cohesive that's that's the only concern of mine i just want the pants to match the socks to match the shoes to match the hat to match the shirt i want all that to match i don't actually care whether it like looks super preppy or whether it looks like super street or whether it looks i don't even care if it looks like sloppy or lazy i just want it to like look I just want it to look cohesive. That's that's it. As long as it's a, a consistent look, and it and it looks good for what it is, then that's that's all that I care about. Uh, but I don't have a consistent style, so it's, it's all over the place. In my brain, the only thing that comes up is, "Are you clean? Who's clean? Wait, what? What? Do, oh, oh, are you clean? That's whenever you're choosing an outfit." <laughs> Are the clothes clean? Do I stink? The only the only thing that I care about whenever I'm about to walk out the door is just go. <laughs> well, of course. Wait, wait, wait. This is this is what every 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 masculine person does is. You gotta do the leg slaps. You gotta do the slaps. Have I got my wallet keys? Wallet, phone keys. Okay, we're good. All right, now I'm ready to go. <laughs> Just gotta, just gotta slap my pants really quick. As long as I slap my pants, I'm ready to go. <laughs> that's, I, I've already looked in the mirror. I've already picked my outfit. That's all. That's all done. But it's, it, but whenever I'm about to get out the door, I just do a little slap, 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 <laughs> just to make sure. I should probably say anybody that has pockets. It, it's probably not a masculine thing. It's just, it's just if you have pockets, you just gotta double check everything's in there, <laughs> and that's what you do to leave as well. If you're if you're leaving a friend's house, you just gotta do a little just do a little slappy. Just do some pants slapping, you know? Slap those pants. <laughs> Get ready to go. I mean subconsciously. I mean subconsciously. Then you care that it's cohesive. What? Subconscious? So <laughs> you mean there's something lower than conscious? <laughs> Z, what's up? Welcome in! Oi, 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 oi! Uh Aerosimp, my brain empty words just come out and end up like that. <laughs> You know what? We love you just that way. Aerosimp, you just you just, just speak your truth. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. Speak your truth. You like pockets? You always check your pockets to make sure that you have everything and you're ready to go. Nowadays, having pockets is a privilege? What? What do you mean nowadays? Have things changed? Is something going on in the world that I don't know about? You're reminding... Y'all are all reminding me that I actually have to buy overalls and I keep forgetting. I have... I have three, is there three things that I'm buying for stream? I think that there's three, yeah, there's three stream items that I need. Four? God, it's gonna be expensive. <laughs> one, of, one of them's a big ticket item, but I gotta get it. I gotta get it for the baking stream because it's it's happening. It's happening, you hear me? We're baking, we're baking, I haven't forgot. I haven't forgot, we are baking. We're doing a minion stream. I'm gonna have a minion outfit on. We're gonna make a minion cake. It's happening. I'm not letting myself forget about it. I'm just putting it off. I'm just procrastinating it, okay? It's being procrastinated, but it is happening. <laughs> That's <laughs> the real danger. The danger with me is that I forget things. That's 
that's when the trouble is. If I forget something, it's gone forever. <laughs> but, but I'll have it lurking in the back of my head. So I'll always have this like little stress, little stress just floating back there. And I'm just like, why do I feel so bad? What's going on? Why, why do I feel like there's something I should do? And it's just that, that, that forgotten item just sitting in the back of my head. So I, I just gotta, I just gotta make sure that I keep juggling everything. That's, that's what matters. Uh, I'll send you a minion gif every morning so you won't forget. Now I remember it. I, I just said, I remember it. <laughs> I remember it. Hashtag stop fake pockets. <laughs> Yes, a lot of girl clothes don't have pockets or have fake pockets. Isn't that like a long-running problem? I, is that recent? Is that a new problem? I'm pretty sure that that's been going on ever since they decided to distinguish gender and clothes. Like, that is, it's been a rip-off from the very beginning. It was probably it was probably instituted whenever uh, companies made purses. Whenever they were just like, we gotta sell, we gotta sell this whole purse item so that we could get a lot of extra money from these ladies. Now, how can we figure out how to get these people to buy these? And they just went to the uh, to the tailor and they were just like, can we remove pockets? <laughs> could we get rid of them? Gender is and always has been a scam. It is. They just they they use it in both ways. They they force one gender to pay this much more for this and one gender to pay this much for for that it's all baloney it's all baloney they're just trying to divide us so that they can conquer us it's capitalism in the making do you hear me do you hear me these big wigs money people they're trying to split us up they're trying to steal our money they're they're giving taxes on all different genders okay they're just trying to make money and don't think that they're not going to do that with with newer discovered genders genders that have just been discovered oh they're going to find a way to monetize that you better look out you better look out they're they're wily they're wily they're tricky they're bet i think that a lot of companies are betting that these genders aren't going to stay but they're here to stay they're here to stay all right and they're going to monetize them eventually so you better look out uh, if you want to see real joy, watch a woman's expression who has discovered pockets in a dress. <laughs> that moment of realization as they as they rub their hands along their hips and they suddenly realize that there's this odd indentation into the cloth and they all of a sudden the realization flashes upon their face. There's a there's a hole in my dress. There's there's two holes and I could put things in them. Imagine that. A new invention. I can't believe it. <laughs> It's been happening forever. The purse industry. The purse industry. <laughs> I'm just glad that the purse industry never caught up, okay? Listen, <laughs> the wasted money is wasted money. And I don't want anybody feeling like they have to buy stuff. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Unbelievable. Uh, you don't you don't buy purses. You buy backpacks because uh, you like the feeling of being prepared. <laughs> like, what if a gray wizard gets me to sign a sketchy contract for adventure? <laughs> yeah, and you have nowhere to keep your new weapons. What if, what if I find a goblin cave and there's loads of loot and I can't carry it? You don't think I'm gonna put all those those fine goblin coins into my purse? Not a chance. Too heavy. I need it to be supported by my by both shoulders. Yeah, Back, backpacks are good. <laughs> I'm going on an adventure. No. No, it's such a shame. Anytime I think of The Hobbit, I think of those Hobbit movies. And then then my heart is sad. <laughs> uh, having a small fluffy backpack is important for mental health. Aw, a little tiny backpack. I have a little tiny backpack, but it's boring. It's a boring looking backpack. <laughs> you can't have the one ring in a fake pocket. That's true. <laughs> That's true. You got to hang it on a you got to hang it on a chain on your neck. And then as the ring gets heavier, then it can start to make little little marks on your neck. And then you can remember your your fun times carrying that ring. Mom, don't don't wait for me for dinner. I'm going to head to the underworld. The what? <laughs> Mom, I'm going to the basement. And I'm not going to be back for a millennia. So don't wait up. Go ahead and serve the food. Maybe that's how we need to go. It's how the Ferengi in Star Trek got the right to wear clothes, the women. Uh, and those clothes would have pockets and they'll wanna buy stuff. Yeah, I, I really like uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the stuff with the Ferengi in that show. The Deep Space Nine has got some, has got some good freaking politics in it. I, uh, I enjoyed it quite a bit. I have not watched all of it, but I, uh, I, I saw an episode or two and uh yeah naked ferengi women it's a it's a real it's a real eyesore i tell you what they gotta cover that up <laughs> uh 
the Lord of the Rings movies are so much better. Oh, oh. Let me tell you what. I don't know if y'all have seen the new uh, Lord of the Rings show, and I don't know if it's a hot take, uh, but the new Lord of the Rings show is really bad. Like, it's taken me a little while to realize my full opinion on it, but I watched it all the way through, like, roughly when it was being released. It's not good. It's not good. You might, you might enjoy it. You might enjoy it because there are things to be enjoyed. There are definitely highlights. There are enjoyable things in it. But overall, it's bad. It's bad. And I do not recommend it, unfortunately. You tried giving it a chance. So did I. And so did my, so did my roommates. We, we really tried. My roommates actually don't hate it. They're, they're excited for the next season, but I, I am no longer. Kenny, do you want to play a game? A game? What, you mean like like this game? This game over here? This game that I just downloaded? The game that I was totally just waiting for it to download? Yes! And I also want to play... Okay, before, before we get into the game, I do want to say, yeah, we're going to be playing Pokemon tomorrow. Probably a little bit early. Probably a little bit early. Um, I'm going to pick it up from GameStop as soon as I possibly can. And then we're going to be playing. Our starter is Sprigatito. I already know what it is. And I've already seen the spoilers for what the Evos are. Uh, I, I guess that's that's probably not hot news. The whole game was leaked. Uh, if y'all, I, I guess I won't spoil it if y'all care. Um, but I will say this. This is not a spoiler. But um, the Evo for Sprigatito is actually going to be a tough call gonna be a tough call whether or not i want to evolve it we'll have to we'll have to see i'm literally not sure because it's actually not bad it's actually it's actually pretty good i think that the evo is pretty good the middle evo is garbo but they always are so the i don't know i'm i'm, I'm tempted now i have to make a decision and i know that die is gonna strangle me if i have two grass type pokemon so that's not great it's truly garbage what sprigatito's final or oh no you're talking about game of thrones is that what you're saying uh, okay, yeah, we're still talking about Lord of the Rings. You said, as somebody who is very indifferent to Lord of the Rings, enjoy this series for what it is. It's possible. It's possible, Alchemic. I personally, my biggest gripes with the show are not continuity problems and are not, um, are, are not like fanboy problems. My, my biggest problems with the show are not, uh, it, it not agreeing with the source material. In fact, I actually like a lot of the changes to the source material. Be, like for example there are elves that are that are just black people which is like a very nice addition it's nice to have some uh, nice for them not to be homogenous and creepy and all white like they were so it's it's great to see some representation that's something that uh that jrr tolkien should have put in didn't man of his time whatever excuses you want to make that's a good change like this there's a lot of things like that that are just like okay thank you for modernizing this and making it a little bit better in that way but there's there's yeah it's the writing it's the writing that's really bad and the characters are really bad and the dialogue is awful and the like setup payoff sort of stuff is it it's just not good it's just not a great show a lot of the things are like it uses this like I've heard it described as like a story box narrative where they're always like, oh, there's a secret. There's a secret. Gotta wait for the secret. Oh, we're teasing the secret. We're going to tell you later. And then whenever they tell you, it's um, it's not great. <laughs> it's very unsatisfying. <laughs> and the characters all suck. I only like one character. I like I like one character and one relationship between characters and the rest of them i'm just like i don't care about y'all who are you even as a fan i don't care about them which is too bad like they could have at least used my they could have at least used my nostalgia against me like that's ammunition it's free ammunition guys you could have made me nostalgic but you didn't even <laughs> the cgi is overdone i don't think so i don't think so it's actually that is that is one thing that i'll give the show is that it actually does not have nearly as much CGI as it could have. Like the the orcs, that's my that's one of the things that I love about the show is that a lot of the orcs are 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 um what's it called practical. They're practical and it looks great. It looks great. A lot of it looks fantastic. They use a lot of practical effects way more than the Hobbit. So I I actually think that 
that that's one of the things that the show stands up pretty well on is the visuals. Uh, I think that it's a huge improvement over The Hobbit. And they, they went back and they made a lot of things more like the original movies. So actually, I don't think that the CGI is overdone at all. I think that they fixed it, to be honest. Uh, the you uh, same here like one character in one relationship. I wonder if it's the same character Rosera I wonder if we like the same character They used one or two lines to be reminiscent to the movies, but they weren't even clear with it Yeah, and also a lot of it like the nostalgia bait in that show was them Giving lines to characters in the past that either they were gonna say in the future or that somebody else says in the future and it's like there's no connection here that that doesn't that doesn't make me go oh that's what that other character said no it's like why are you saying that is that just like a common term of phrase what what why are you why are you singing all who wander are lost like are you the one that introduced that to gandalf what okay that doesn't that doesn't make my little nostalgia heart go ba dump ba dump that just makes me pissed. Makes me fucking pissed. <laughs> Pretending to be mad about this show. <laughs> Nessie, what's up? Super liminal. It's super liminal. Listen, I didn't have any sleep last night, so I thought perfect time to play a freaky game that's gonna make me feel like I'm going insane. You know what? If we're gonna go insane, we're gonna go the we're gonna go the distance, baby. We're going the distance. <laughs> also, Nessie, your dog is so cute. I'm sorry for not messaging you back, but I saw I saw the picture of your dog. Your dog is adorable, and I would love to, I would love to give it pets. I'd love to give that doggy pets. It looks it looks like the sweetest. How old How old is the doggo? How old is the doggo? Very very adorable. Y'all are y'all are really melting my my dog fearing heart. <laughs> There's like one character. Yeah, who is it? Who is it, Rosera? And the speech of a certain person. Yep, it is. It is. Okay, it's it's the Hobbit character. That's the good character. The good character is... Oh, he's not Dwalin Balin. I don't remember his freaking name. He sounds like Gimli. He's like Gomli or something. <laughs> I don't remember his name. But it's the it's the dwarf. Or did I say the Hobbit? <laughs> I mean the dwarf. The freaking dwarf with a big hammer. <laughs> the dwarf boy. He's he's fantastic. I love him. Acting fantastic. Script still really bad for them though. It sucks. Nobody escapes the bad script. It's so bad. But the dwarf is good. I love the dwarf. I love the relationship between Durin and an elf boy. Don't love elf boy on his own, but their relationship, so wholesome. So wholesome, very funny, love that part of the movie. And I also like, uh, also like Durin's wife. Durin's wife is fantastic. Fantastic actor, great, uh, better, better script, but still bad, still bad. <laughs> there's one, there's one line from Lord of the Rings. The, the new show, Rings of Power. It's Durin. Durin is talking with Elrond. And they're having some conversation where Elrond is kind of beating around the bush. And is not explaining things. And he's just like, oh, you see, blah, 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 blah. And Durin gets tired and he says, give me the meat and give it to me raw. That's in the show. He says, give me the meat and give it to me raw. I don't know if they meant for that to be funny, but it's bad. It's bad. It's stupid. It's stupid, and I kind of love it, but that's just an example of the kind of bullcrap in that show. It's, those are your favorite scenes? I'm telling you, that, that, that was the best part. The worst part of that show, and I'm going to be done talking about Rings of Power after this. I'm done. Gladriel is a shit tier character. And I have to use that word because that's how bad it is. Absolutely awful character. Hate the way that she's written. Hate her dialogue. Don't even like her actor. Her actor has like no range whatsoever. Face like the whole, the whole show. So bad, so bad. There's no redeeming qualities to Gladriel. I, I'm, I literally, there's not a single thing I like about her character. There's not a single thing that she does that I like. There's no line delivery that I thought was convincing. Just the worst, the worst ever. And it's a real shame because Gladriel's such a good character. 
It's such a it's such a bummer. Like I I wish I wish that they were good. I wanted them to be good. I wanted the whole show to be good. They sunk so much money, so much time, and and I real and I like was feeling a little bit invested in the first few episodes. But it's it's not worth it. <laughs> It's not worth it. Don't bother. <laughs> Don't freaking bother. I'm going to keep watching it because uh, my roommates are going to watch it and I don't want them talking about it without me knowing what's going on. But that's that's the only thing that's that's making me want to watch any more of it. That's it. She was inspired by Halbrand. How, how, who's Halbrand? Halbrand is the is that the character from 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 Rivertown? Halbrand? Is that is that who that is? For a specific famous line? What? How? Who's? Who's Halbrand? I forget. I forget. You 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 speak you're speaking in tongues. I don't understand a goddamn word. You're you're talking in the language of the angels right now. <laughs> anyway, we're just talking about this stupid show, and I, I apologize. We're gonna play a game. We're gonna play a game, okay? I'm done. Rant over. Rant over. Now that I've scared away all the non uh, Lord of the Rings fans, we're gonna play this uh, super trippy game, <laughs> and we'll try to forget all of our woes. We'll try to forget about help. God dang it. Why is this why is this not in full screen? Come on now. Come on now, you book about No! It's breaking my computer! Help! 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 I can't see anything anymore! Help! Oh no! Oh oh wait, did it fix it? Okay, it fixed itself. Okay, okay, okay. Now it's working. My bad, my bad, my apologies. My apologies for my computer exploding. Is this your first time? Yes, this is my first time. I'm a super liminal virgin. <laughs> uh, also, the game's frozen. I, I guess this is the first and last time. <laughs> this is this is the final hour. The final time that I use this computer. I'm looking forward to that new Pokemon game because then I don't have to tax a stupid PC. <laughs> the stupid PC that should have been thrown away months ago. Stupid computer's broken! <laughs> I know the new emotes, that's so cute! It's so cute! I think I'm gonna make some slight compositional adjustments to that, but it's adorable. It's adorable! Look at that baby! That baby is so excited to see you. The game's broken. I... I will end you. I will end you, game! Y'all realize that I, I figured out that I have uh, special effects on my, on my mixer. I had forgotten about that. But you know what? I remembered today. Uh, I, 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 it's not even letting me alt, okay, there's the alt tab, alt tab working, okay, it's broken, oh no, our game, it's broken, also Yoshi fan, Larsel, how are you doing, dur, 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 dur. looking great, oh, thank you, I, uh, uh, my hair looks a little weird, because I just washed it, and I don't really know how to manage it, and I need to get a hair curler, uh, but thank you, Thank you. God dang. Stupid. Stupid game's broken. My game is broken. My stream is broken too. I'm deleting this game. I'm deleting it. Just kidding. We're still playing it, but I'm going to close it real quick. I'm going to give it one more chance, all right? We're going we're gonna to give this sweet little game a chance, okay? Here it is right here. Here's its chance. Everybody relax. I'm going to wait for a second. I'm not pressing A. I ain't doing it. Ah! <laughs> Nessie scared the bejeepers out of me. Nessie, don't do that. You're supposed to take care of me. You promised. <laughs> you promised to watch over me and my children. You promised. <laughs> You've gone back on your promises. The blood pact has been broken with the stream team leader. <laughs> there you go then. Bonk. <laughs> hey. Thank you. Fine, you have nourished me for now. Maybe I should start doing ASMR streams like Nessie does. I have a, uh, I have a blue Yeti. Uh, I could do ASMR streams. Okay. Okay. I could do it. I could do some ear licking. <laughs> some ear licking chicken. Let's play. Is this going to work? Is this going to work? Access my info, Xbox, why do you suck? <laughs> Yo, Microsoft, can we talk about this for a minute? Why do you suck so much? Yo, Microsoft, can we talk about getting that Windows 11 update sometime? 
What, what do you think? Come on. Come on, put her there, pal. Why, why are you treating me like a stranger? I've been using Windows ever since I was an infant. I, ever since I was infantilized by the Microsoft products. If only Linux played every game, that's what I'd switch to, because I'm a nerd. But there's no way out. There's no way out. You can only play games on Windows, so we're screwed. Photosensitivity warning. This game contains flashing lights and... That's too fast. Everybody look out for the epilepsy. Epilepsy warning. Alert, alert. Are this you filled with feelings of self-doubt? Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas? Or for allowing the smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? At the Pierce Institute, our patent-pending Somnusculpt technology provides safe and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flagship clinic. Located right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. Somnusculpt will make your dreams come true. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't think I want my dreams to come true. We were just talking about how wacky my dreams are. No, 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 no more social anxiety. <laughs> my dreams are horrible. It's always me at a party. Mmm. Let's make some adjustments. Uh, really quick, we'll up the look sensitivity. Y axis normal. FOV. Put that up to 90. That's going to help everybody's uh, brains anyway. Camera shake. I'll take it off so that y'all don't get as motion sick. Uh, that should do. Can I remove motion blur? Is there motion blur in this game? Nope. Good. Alright, I'll adjust the audio and we're ready. We're ready for subliminal. Okay. Alright, that should hurt y'all's brain less. Terms of service. We've we've signed a document, but I can't read it. It's too small. Y'all never read any of those contracts, do you? Not a single one of them. Y'all just skim past them and just sign away your souls. You don't even know what you're signing half the time. You gotta read the fine print. You never know what kind of information you're giving up. Excuse me. Ah. It says, perception is reality. Grab this. I already know about this mechanic, I think. Because the objects get bigger whenever whenever you put them up in the sky, then they look big to you, and then you drop them and they look bigger. You see? Look how, lar look how large this is. That's the one thing that I know. That was in the trailer, okay? As in the trailer, I'm cheating. I'm cheating, I'm using. Oh, look! Now it's tiny. Look how tiny it is. Perception is reality. Nice. Wow, not so big of a castle now, are you? Actually, it's still pretty big. How big can I make it? We'll make the largest castle you've ever seen. We're gonna live inside this castle. Oh my god. Chest just got a lot more intense. Oh, mama! <laughs> the chess community should not be underestimated. It's grown more powerful with time. Oh my god. That's incredible. Alright, so we can grow any object that we want. S... 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 Spa... 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 to jump. Oh. That's the big button on my keyboard. Terms of service accepted. Ah. Congratulations on falling asleep. Be quiet, Welcome Alexa. To Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. What am I trying to do? Also, Zyberwolf, what's up? Welcome in. Oi, oi, oi. Lucid induction dream Nothing could possibly go wrong with your mind in seconds or more there. <laughs> Why would you have a tongue in their ear? In whose ear? I haven't put my tongue in anybody's ear. Not really. You can't prove it anyway. So are we supposed to make a big chess board? Then we're supposed to play chess? What, what are we supposed to do? I'm gonna make all these blocks tiny. Oh, there's an escape route. So we make this a little bit bigger. Then we hippity hop. I guess we get out of here. Is there anything else to do in here? Small king. <laughs> Looking so small king. Aw. Little guy. Little king. Boop. <laughs> I just dropped it on the ground. Whoopsies. Okay. Out we go. Onward and upward. No objects beyond this point at all times. 
Ooh, that looks crazy. <gasps> it just became tiny. Ooh. Oh, it always, it all, so there's limits on how big or how small items can get. This is cool though. Instead of going in, it just shrinks. That's amazing. No items allowed. You gotta get going, got some things to do. Hey, Rosera, we'll see you later. Thanks for hanging out for a bit. Good luck with what you're doing. Have a wonderful rest of your night, Rosera. Take care of yourself. Love yourself, or else. Or else, you know. I'll send Earl after you. It says no objects in here, no matter what. So we we cannot pull objects into this room. Uh, is there something to do with these mirrors? Yeah, I see that object there. So there is something in this room. I'm guessing it's just invisible? Can't run into it. Can we grab it through that mirror? Oh, we can just grab it from afar. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> it all makes sense if you don't think too hard about it. Uh, oh, now we got to get out of here. Even if we pick this up, it immediately is like in our hands. That's cool. So can we still grow it? Or is it too late for such things? Oh, we can definitely grow it. The block grows ever bigger. But uh, what's up with... The oh, that's just a door that you can't uh, bring items through. Oh my god! <laughs> it sounds so heavy. Bingo! And forward we go. You gotta scoot too? Hey, no worries. Good luck with your dentist appointment. I hope you have no cavities. And listen to messages from your patient care team. Ah! Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol ah! and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. Alexa, I would I like to care. point out that this is very disturbing and I do not like this. I don't like this, not one little bit. Wait, can I just grab it whenever I'm far away? No, it, I mean, it's an optical illusion, but it, it doesn't look like we can interact with it at any point. Okay. Also, enjoy your lurk, Aerosimp. I'd love to see what you do. All right. Forward. This music's making me uncomfortable. I don't like it in here. Oh, a little, little pawn. Little pawn for me. But what's... Oh, we got to put it over there. How would we do that? How do I how do I make it go further? Maybe I have to make it small to make it go further away. Cuz that would make it look like it's further away from me. Yeah, let's let's shrink it down if we can. Wait, oh, whoa! No, I just made it bigger. That was a mistake. So I grab it from here and shrink it down like this. And now it'll look like it's further away from us. Does that even work? What the frick is floating? What? What is it landing on? What the heck is going on? It's landing on nothing. Okay, I want to make it tiny. Okay, now it's teeny tiny. It doesn't do anything. My My idea, my analysis was incorrect. Maybe we just need to grab it from really far away. Then bring it in there. No, it's always it's still the same distance. <laughs> My brain. Okay, it's not landing on the invisible. What the frick? <laughs> As you move it up, it moves along the room once you put it in there. What? 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 <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. How did they program this? What on earth? This looks like a nightmare to program. Oh my gosh, nothing makes any sense. <laughs> Why would you make your game an actual 3D if it's going to be this much baloney? <laughs> no, it doesn't make total sense. It doesn't make any sense. Hold right click to rotate. Okay, that's fun. So I got to make this wedge giant. Push it against the wall, I guess. Ah. How big can the cheese get? Ah! <laughs> my lactose intolerance is scaring me now. Ah! <laughs> this is my worst nightmare. Giant cheese. <laughs> Too much cheese. 
Not enough cheese. Never mind. We need more cheese. Big cheese. It's Biggie Cheese. Biggie Cheese finally got into a game. We're so proud of him. Wait, so this, it's its just the one slice. We can't mess with the rest of it. I guess we just gotta make the slice big. Yeah. All right, it was During big habits, enough. You will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. During Evidence, eyelids? I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. Please complete the remaining orientation activities. Are we all asleep? Wake up, wake up. Wake up. Tiny block. Oh, time to break out of the dream. Time to get into the real life zone. This is good to give me big Portal 2 vibes with the uh, with the escape thing going on here. Big, big escape vibes. Also, Lunacell, what's up? Oi, oi. Welcome to my dream. My dream of the future. Oh. Does that make a schmoll? <gasps> it worked. So what do we do? Should we go in here? Or should we try to... I'm going to try to escape. I think the game's going to prevent me from doing th that. Mmm, dream soda. You have deviated from the do we want red soda, right? green soda, diet soda, random soda, baking soda, <laughs> baking soda, mini soda, or water soda? Mmm, water soda, yummy. Don't roll away from me. I need this soda. So delicious. Please use other door. Okay, I, I don't think we're allowed out. But we could bring a soda with us. My soda. This is the one thing that I get to keep. This is the one thing that's mine. Giant soda. No! I can't bring giant soda with us. We've lost our drink. No! What are we going to drink? <laughs> it's still giant. It's so weird. It's like the further it goes in your perspective, the bigger it gets. Oh, it hurts my brain. How did they make this work this way? Oh, it also solves any flying issues. Because it just, it just shrinks and grows depending on how you're holding it. Whoa! Oh, snap! Whoa! Oh, mama. Oh, my God. The mighty soda gods. They're smiling upon us. Finally. Just chilling before sleep. The dream looking good. I know, right? It's got giant soda cans. What else could you ask for? A dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep. Do, 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 do. How would I possibly... Maybe I just gotta make this small again. I'm I'm starting to understand this game. Hang on. It's too big. It's too large. I've never seen such a large block in my... Oh, this is the way to do it. Now nah, it's as small as it gets. Teehee. It's another teehee moment with the Earl. Perfect. <laughs> Bingo does it. Can we escape? I don't see a crouch button. I'm pressing control. I'm pressing C. It ain't doing nothing. It ain't doing nothing. All environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical <laughs> mental state. Eyelids. Why is it called that? Who wouldn't want giant soda else, cans? Please provide a mm, comprehensive water soda. explanation in your post procedural survey. Completed I, surveys oh may be God. eligible for a gift card. This is this just is ne this is just never ending entertainment. Just make an object big. Now that's fun. Now that's the future of gaming. I'm gonna make a block small again. Uh, it says, really? No objects beyond this point at any time. So what do we, you gotta break a window? Wah. <laughs> Wah. Huh. No items. So it's really serious about us not putting an item in this room. So clearly we're supposed to do it. We just got to throw it over the edge. Easy peasy. There it goes. There it was. Ta-da. Ta-da. Big brain. Platinum brain. Giant brain. Ooh. A horse. A horse in a freezer. 
This room is, is ugly looking. This is too many chess pieces. This is the biggest checkmate I've ever seen. Oh no, oh no, there's too many rooms. <laughs> too many rooms, I don't like this. I'm going back for a second. Oh! Wait a second. Wait a second. Y'all won't believe this, but I literally just got to the episode of Chainsaw Man where this happens. This happens in Chainsaw Man, where they get they get stuck in an endless in an endless freaking hotel. An endless floor that they can't escape. They go down one stair and then they just show up at the top of the next stair. That's where I am. I'm much further in the manga. But uh I just watched that episode. Human one! <laughs> What's up? Wait a minute. Did you just use the Did you just use the Bird. Hey, better watch your mouth, human one. Now you're gonna have to scrub it out with some with some royalty soaps. I'm gonna send you a special delivery of of homemade soap to wash out that mouth, that filthy, filthy mouth. Where am I? Where am I? Oh, buttons. Button, button. Who's got the? Do we just, oh, one button for that door, one button for this door. Both of them are blocked. That, that one's blocked, eh? All blocked up. All blocked up. So what do we, what do we have to use in this room? The sign. That's something. We ripped off the sign. <laughs> Human one, how are you doing? Oi, 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 oi. Human one. Human one. Also, Marissa, what's up? Uh, you're one to talk saying it gets bigger or smaller depending on how you hold it. What? Wait a minute. That's not even true. <laughs> That's not even accurate. Perception is not reality. Hmm. So that opens that door. Can you throw objects over this wall? Guess it doesn't really matter. If you threw an object over that wall, it wouldn't do anything, would it? Hmm. The thing that we need to be able to do is move it, I guess? Can we grab it through this window? No. Huh. Maybe we gotta make the object so big that it sits on both of them? Oh my god. I don't know if it's gonna allow for that. It looks like... It looks like that's what these rafters are for, is to prevent it from happening. Never mind. <laughs> that is the solution. <laughs> when in doubt, make it bigger. Wait, what? No, it fell over. Stand up. Stand up for yourself. Oh, you stupid sign. No, don't fall that way. Fall out other way. No, now you're going to stay still? The sign has got it out for me. Now, don't fall. Dankeschön. Whoopee! We're blazing through this game. Orientation. You Brain too it. big. Brain to growing. The time allotted for your therapeutic journey. Mm, Please do not sussy delay wall. in proceeding through the final doorway sussy, as indicated. Sussy wall. Look at this wall. You can peek through it. Look at look at all this peakage. There's so much peakage going on. Oh my gosh, we could we could see anything. Look, look, we can see it all. This game hides nothing. Oh, this is ma this is the maximum peakage. There's so much peak going on here. Peak peakage. Hey. <laughs> hey. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, you like the new most human one? We just got the waku waku one. The excited baby. Excited baby. I just forgot to upload that the other day. This wall is falling down. We just got to knock it over with cheese. 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 Che 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 cheese. -a. Wait, so like this? Boom. Nice. We've broken out of the facility. We're free. We're free. They can't hold us back. Kitty cat moved keyboard back. Oh baby. <laughs> Cats are so adorable. I kind of wish that, that our cats were more cuddly and that they'd stick around me, but they do get bored really easily. 
The only way that I can get our cats to stay close to me is if I just don't move. If I don't move, don't pet them. Just let them lay next to me. That's that's the only way I can convince them to stay. But if I give them any attention, they're going to start stretching. They're going to start meowing. And then they're just going to leave me. Abandon me. Why are they letting me climb around up here, huh? Is there some kind of purpose? Is there a porpoise? Maybe they're just letting you have fun. Somehow, I doubt it. Should we take the cheese with us? You coming with me, cheese? Oh, what was that noise? Something fell. No big deal. Is there something else in here? I'm still taking the cheese. Giant cheese moment. Little, little, little drink? Who left their little drinky here? Their large diet soda. Ah! <laughs> Dang it. What? Okay, level one complete. Nice. We're out of the dream. Woo, that was a weird dream, right? Good morning, everyone. Oh, just, just five more minutes. Five more minutes in this cozy, cozy bed. Oh, look, look at the beautiful paintings. We got cloud. Red cloud that looks like a giant pig. Or Mickey Mouse. This one's just... Just big round cloud. Beautiful. Who's the interior designer? Give me their card. Sweet A, sweet G. So there's multiple test subjects? Suit F. Sweet F. Private. Let me in. Ah, uh, back to the office. Any calls since I've been gone? Margaret? Hold all my calls. I'll be in the office. I have much business to attend to after I get my water soda. <laughs> I was going to say earlier, I actually do drink water soda, essentially. That's what seltzer water is, right? It's just water soda. It's just fizzy water. Big drink. Whoa. Thought that the door closed behind me, but... Just in this fine hallway. I'll just leave that there. <laughs> I can't open any of these doors. Some doors are best left closed. Hmm. Can I open this? None of the momentum transfers whenever you throw items, unfortunately. Nah, the door is too strong. Too powerful. Not even a giant can could stop it. Alright, can. You stay behind. You're just a distraction. All these rooms are locked. Do not disturb. Should we go to the exit? No, 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 no. We don't we can't leave yet. Hmm. I don't like that hallway. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. It's giving me inception. Oh, it's a fake. <laughs> it's a Willy Wonky moment. Is he getting bigger? I think the room's getting smaller. This is where you play the little the little musical notes. Whoa, that looks trippy. I do not like this side. I do not like this side of it. I am I am a-okay with this, but but the opposite is unacceptable. It may, may, gives me vertigo. Feel like I'm about to fall down the hall. Alright, time to get out of here. <laughs> Fine. Make the door time. Oh, look, it's got a little door. We gave it a little door. No, now it's too now it's too small. We need it to be bigger. Like this. Can I I can rotate it, right? I wanna put a door here. Alright, good enough, good enough. Cleanup crew will come through here in a few minutes. Ah. Fine, easy listening music. Just <laughs> exit temporarily moved. All right, fine. Be that way. 
I'll make my own exit. Oh, too many options. Ah! <laughs> no, that's some Ripley's Believe It or Not bullcrap. <laughs> oh, I hate that. I hate the protruding entrance. No. Instead of an Innie, instead of an Innie, it was an Audi. Hey, Sly Fox, what's up? It's me, the real Earl. It's true. I'm gonna be switching between VTuber and uh, and real tuber, randomly, randomly switching between them. And I think I, I think I might make it a redeem. I'm not sure, but we gonna play around with it. But I've decided I can't, I can't be a full time VTuber. It ain't for me. It ain't for me. It's too, it's too much pressure. I think to be a VTuber, you have to be way more. You gotta be better at branding than I am. You've got it. You gotta have lore. You, you've got to have like a commitment to doing lots of art. You have to be more interesting. I think that I, I think I'm just not cut out for, for full-time VTubing in my personal opinion. But who knows, maybe someday. Maybe, maybe someday. Oh, bonus sign. Ew. Ah, <laughs> this room's way longer than I thought. Oh, 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 oh. This is just a highly advanced VTuber. I'm Code Miko Part 2. Oh my god. So what do I do? What do I do, Lord? They gave me three signs. What if I waste them all? What if I waste all my what if I waste all my potential? What will the game do then? Hmm. What will the game do if I Oh wait, do these just things just respawn? Cause I'm thinking it can't it can't be those unless there's a reset button. I, I'm 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 learning. I'm learning whether or not Hey! Don't scare me like that! <laughs> oh look, it does respawn. Okay, so it is it is this thing that's the solution. That's why I love Nestle Crunch. I'm thinking we just build a ramp. That's my that's my initial. That's my initial stratagem. Strategies, these nuts. Got him. Wait, like this. What about like that? What about, wait a minute, what about this? What about that, that there? Ah. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Mistakes were made. How do I, how, how can I rotate this thing? I can only rotate one along one axis. Bingo. <laughs> There's no hugging in my chat. Nessie, I've told you a thousand times. No touching. Nessie's always trying to be all touchy feely. Nessie, you watch where those hands are going. Oh wait, no, it worked. <laughs> Never mind, there is hugging. Uh, but they were all of them deceived. This took you forever, human one? Really? Is that true? Is that true? Human one. We got we gotta talk about this. Ooh -ah, ooh -ah. Boyong boyong. So what's up with up here, huh? What's all this nonsense? What's all this malarkey? This part of the level is worthless. I'm leaving. I'm gonna listen to that radio. <laughs> Accent gets worse Hello. over time. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk to you about being special. Dr. Glenn so Pierce. So special, in fact, that we have no idea where you are. But not to worry, we're working on it. That's it? Thanks a lot, Dr. Pierce. You no help, as usual. As usual, the doctor doesn't help. And that's why I haven't gotten my skin condition looked at by a doctor. I don't trust him. What is this? New cube decision. Too much? Arg. I'm a pirate. Eggshell, C9B79D, materials, aluminum, plastic, symmetrical layouts, balds, ply, corrugate. This is all baloney. This is all, this is all just scribbles. Just scribbledy scrobbles. Huh? Ah! How did I know what to draw? Where'd I get the pencil? 
Is this lore? Should I watch the map pad video about this game? Okay, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Nessie, would you want to play um, Among Us VR with me? If you'll play Among Us VR with me, either offline or online. Well, I mean, obviously it would be online, but I just mean like it doesn't doesn't have to be on stream or anything. But if you if you promise to play it with me, then I'll set up my VR again. I haven't set it up for this room because it's a pain in the it's a pain in the it 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 hurts my it's it's just a lot of work is what I'm trying to say. But I could I unfortunately have the VR headset that's the most annoying to set up and the fanciest. So it's kind of a first world problem. Look at this fake table thing. So I have to make this perspect I have to make this perspective work somehow. Like this. Uh, a little bit further away? Close. I'm guessing this is an object I could pick up. There it is. Bingo does it. Hooray! Whatever the game is, you love VR? Yeah, that's what I thought. I saw your tweet about it and I was like, wait a minute. VR buddy. Wait a minute, VR buddy. I haven't had a VR buddy in a while. And I don't know, I've, I've had VR ever since the first, like, thing was released, so I don't know. The mag the magic's still there, but just a little bit lessened, a little bit lessened. Because I got the, I got the Vive whenever it was first released. So I, like, pre-ordered the first, the first headset to the market. So I've been, I, I, I've had hundreds of hours in VR at this point. And it just is, uh, you know, I gotta, I gotta have, like, an extra reason to play in VR. What, where, what? So I see this table thing. So do I have to connect the table first? The table has the object that lines up, I see. Like that. Bingo. Oh, that's a weird object, whoa. Oh, it's got stairs on it. That's cool. I like that. You know what, I like that actually. Ah! <laughs> Whoa, 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 this looks like something you'd build for a cat. Your internet's cutting out? What? If you asked uh, if play VR, uh, you, I will. Okay. Okay, I'll set up my VR. No worries, no worries. If Nessie goes offline for a long time, I won't take it personally. It's all just uh, internet problems. So this door is missing a piece. So do I need to find an object? Wow! 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 <laughs> wow. Whoa. Nessie in VR. If only you could use your character model in Among Us. Ooh. Can you put can you put Vroid things into? I'm guessing you could put those straight into VR chat, right? Internet stinky. Oof. Are there are there some uh, inclement weather going on? Is there some crappy weather? Is it blustery? Are you having a very blustery day? Wow! 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 It said perception is reality. Oh frick! I I forgot to look at the door. Forgot to look at the door while I was up here. This is this is the solution. The solution is lining up the door like this. And then we've removed it all. Then the door falls down. Then the doorway is right here, but the door is gone, you see? It all makes big sense. It's all, it's all very standard, very standard puzzle practice. This game's making me want to try Antichamber. That's another game like this, with like impossible geometries. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. This does not sound like a recording, just in FYI. To give you a quick update on where you are. We still don't know. You should put a filter on it like this. Keep moving forward, and hopefully you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. Thanks. Thanks for the reminder, Mr. Pierce. In VR chat, you have three Nessie models in VR chat? Oh! I'm jealous. I'm not jealous of you having uh, three Nessie models. I, I, I don't want a single Nessie model, but I want my own. 
That would be so expensive. Could you imagine just getting a 3D model just for VR chat? For casual VR chatting? Although an army of Nessies in a VR chat sounds pretty funny. Does sound pretty good. <laughs> Which one's the real Nessie? Uh, we gotta get a bub. We gotta get a bub, but first we gotta get a blop. Block. First we get a large block. Then we make it larger. Then we climb up here. And then we grab this thing. And look! The way is open! Hooray! Hooray! If Nessie has millions of fans, I am one of them. If Nessie has tens of fans, I am one of them. If Nessie has one fan, that is me. If Nessie has no fans, that means that I am no longer on this earth. If the world is against Nessie, I'm against the world. Oh my god. Oh my god, human one, I, I, I did know that you were capable of such levels of dedication. That is beyond any... Any humanly dedication I've ever witnessed. Human One's uh, dedication to Nessie is on a whole nother level. This is incredible, heartwarming, precious, tiny door. The frick? The frick is this tiny door for? Uh, that's where I want to escape. I want to escape this small door. I don't want to go through this standard human sized door. I want to shrink down. There has to. Why is there a tiny door here? I am beyond sus about this door. Why? Why is it there? Is the game trolling me? Am I being trolled by Dr. Pierce this very moment? Also, is there, is there no objects that I could smack it with? Look, we can, we can let the chest pe what, what, what just happened? What? Ah! Why does that change the texture like that? Oh, it's just saying like, oh, you're not allowed to bring that in here. And then whenever you drop it, it always changes back. Okay, never mind. Never mind, I'm tripping, as usual. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and we still can't find you. But you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that should lead you to them. Will all of this work? Absolutely. Okay, question. Which one's more annoying? Bennett Foddy and getting over it, uh, Stanley in the Stanley Parable, or Dr. Charles Muntz, or whatever his name is, in this game? Because all three of them are, are just meant to annoy you. They're just meant to, to crow in your ear while you're trying to play a game. Bennett Foddy, really? I feel like that game is pulling all the weight of being annoying. I feel I feel like the soothing voice of somebody to to entertain and tickle your brain actually helps. I feel like it's it's like it's annoying, but you're mostly annoyed at the game. And then the fact that Bennett Foddy's voice is there, it lets you uh, it lets you focus on something else to be annoyed at. So I think I think that it actually has a slight calming effect, in my opinion. So we just we just uh, threw a lasso around the moon and pulled it down. Um, pull a lasso around the moon and throw it down for you. How do I? Yes, yes, yes. A doorway. Perfect. Boop. Is it big enough? Hurry! <laughs> That's so cool. It's so well done. So impressive. I don't I have no idea how they how they do this. Been at Foddy. My Wi-Fi is gonna go out in nine minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye now. Hey Lix, we'll see you later. Thanks for hanging out. Oi, 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 oi. Oh, gonna reset the router? Okay, Nessie, we'll see you in a bit. We'll see you in a bit. Godspeed. Godspeed with your router reset. Hello. Hopefully My the router guys will bless you. Glenn Pierce. In the event that this elevator does not wake you up. Please don't interact with anything that strikes you as psychologically significant. Okay, I'm gonna say it. No longer this character is the most annoying. It. For example, if you see your parents, please punch them. <laughs> okay, that was the first funny line. I did like that. So the Stanley Parable is funny. Bennett Foddy's relaxing. And this game is just like, could you stop talking, please? I I'm, I'm trying to have fun here. It's 4 a.m. 
Time to wake up and go to work. Everybody get dressed. I've already made breakfast. Just pick it up at the table. We don't have time. Don't have time. Just grab it. We'll get in the car. I'll drive you all to work. Bing, bang, boom. Would y'all like... What, what kind of soda do y'all want? Okay, this is the one thing that I forgot. I, I forgot. What's your favorite soda again? Just before we go. You made breakfast? Marry me! Deal. <laughs> Dealio. It'll be a Twitch wedding. Red soda? All right. This just sound. Uh, then this is probably just Big Red. Big Red tastes like bubble gum. Big Red is garbage tier soda. Prove me wrong. This is an automated message for all oh. patients who attempted to use Dice. an alternate pathway to access the next phase of Somnasculpt therapy, but who have become trapped in a dream state paradox instead. Whoa. Your decisions imply a failure of orientation, which reflects soda. negatively on the standard orientation protocol. Raspberry soda, that sounds good. Not all red sodas are made equal. Yeah, I would try that. I like the, it's got the soundproofing in here. That's what I need. You hear that reverb? <laughs> uh, we're allowed in. It had like a little, uh, a little sign that was talking about dice. I don't see any dice. Whoa. Perception is reality. Your weird doctor. P.S. We'll get through this, smiley face. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What do we got here? This is the Bedraden Schema and the Schlotzen Schema. Wiring diagram. Nice. Always good to see those. Oh, there's a die. Looks like we gotta get rolling. Wow, six. Wow, six again. So I gotta like hit it off an edge. Ah! No, I want it to be like just over this edge so that it'll roll. Like this? No, like that. Like, like this. Yeah! We got a pawn. Can we grab the pawn? No, it automatically rotates differently. Apples. It's all apples and a pawn. Huh. Maybe I need to bring this with me. It seems important. And all it's served is as a block so far. Oh, there's another one. Never mind. Hmm. A suspicious vent. Very, very suspicious vent. Whoa! <laughs> a little bigger than I remember. We just supposed to use these as blocks and get out of here? Seems a little simplistic, if you ask me. Whoa, is this just a cut of the die? <laughs> That's fun. What? Why is this why is this die cut in half? Take this with me, I guess. None of these doors open. All these doors are locked. There's no Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, put that back. Put that back, you're breaking the No! <laughs> My reality! Oh no! Ooh! Light. Can I rotate this? Yeah! Maybe we gotta do something with the shadow. Shadow play, anyone? Hmm. Do not cross. Yeah, there's gotta be... What does that say? Looks like if you walk this way, you get squished? Eh? How so? Does that mean you're like, oh, it, it's saying you can fall over here. Whoa, did something just happen on that wall? Shadows uh, kind of work. Yeah, they work. Maybe. I wonder what, what it, so you don't want to fall in there. I think you die if you fall in there. We don't like dying. There's a big old block. But what what are we trying to do? Are we trying to get in here? Oh. Just pull the fire alarm. <laughs> That's just an achievement. That's all that it does. It's gotta be something with this light, I guess. But what what could change with the light? 
You can die in the game. Mm, probably just restarts you to to a checkpoint. I'd bet. Shadow of this doesn't seem to do anything. Hmm. I don't see anything that that's like based on light. This is this is light. But I don't I don't see what why that matters. Does the escape sign? So maybe we need to move the escape sign somehow. None of these doors open. Can't get through here. The only thing that I can figure is this Simon. Hey, who's barking me? It's Ashley. What's up, Ashley Rose? Oi, oi, how dare you? How dare they bonk the earl? <laughs> how are you doing? <laughs> Welcome to our nightmare. Welcome to our teeny tiny nightmare. I mean, I can roll the die, but then it always sticks. That's what I'm thinking. Wait, oh, that's not, that's, uh, that was very confusing. I thought that that was doing something with this. What is up with the, um, I don't get why one of them is a pawn. Also, thank you for the doggos. Ashley. Oi, oi, oi. Thank you, thank you. Wow. I don't get it. Wait, can I just bonk this around? Oh, you kind of, you kind of can't. Because everything just changes distance and size. There it goes. <laughs> so, I mean, it feels kind of like I should turn this to a certain side, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Hmm. Well, we could put a die in that room, but I don't really see what that would do. Maybe put this in there. Again, not, not, not really seeing what that does. Maybe, maybe this shadow will cast onto a wall over here? Nah, I don't see anything. Every rose has its thorns, Sir Earl. <laughs> the bonk. The bonk has a rose to it. All right, all right. I, I see what you're saying. I tend to agree. <laughs> Maybe just symbolism. All the ones are pawns, and there are pawns in the game. Maybe you're just a pawn in this scene. That's pretty deep. It's pretty deep. There's also there's these slices. I, I feel like the die might not have anything to do with the solution. Because the die, I... Or did I bring it in here? I did. I did. There's this floor, though. Haven't done anything down here. I'm jumping down. Will catch me caring about coming down here. I'm underneath the ground. I'm breaking in. This is all. This is all. You just had to. Tip, the average adult can only withstand three to five. It was just a dead end. Night. I was Once bamboozled. Is eclipsed by entering. Whoa! Entrance, your mind will suffer an explosive mental overload, reorienting you for the emergency. Hey yo! Holy moly! <laughs> Gatini, what's up? Dizzy! Oi oi oi! Shouts out to my friend Dizzy. How was how was Breath of the Wild? Oi oi oi! What's up? Are you doing a are you doing a full playthrough of it? Oi oi! Welcome in. Are you excited for are you excited for Pokemon? Is this just a is this just a pre Pokemon stream? That's what I'm doing. <laughs> We're playing this super trippy game. Hi everybody. Nice to meet y'all. What's up? My name's Earl. I am a friend of Dizzy. Friend of Dizzy. Friend to all. Local cat boy trying to solve these solve these weird freaking puzzles. This game is a real mind bender. A real mind breaker. I don't know if y'all have seen this before. But like, for example, if you put an object underneath your feet, it shrinks. If you take an object and you put it far away, it just becomes big. Look at this. Look at this. My brain. But yes, thank you so much for the raid. Dizzy, it's good to see you. Were you working on 100%? Oh, are you doing, uh, what are you doing first? Wait, you're actually going to do the Koroks? Oh my God. I've, I've never done the Koroks. We did, we did a 100% uh, shrine run before, but I, I am too scared of those Koroks. I, I could never, 
you're braver than I am. Thank y'all for the follows. Board Gaming Mama and is that Ping Ping Pingy Rage? <laughs> nice to meet y'all. Hi. Welcome in. Oi, oi. Welcome to this bonkers game. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Fake. Fake dice. I'm not allowed to I'm not allowed to carry any objects through these doors, by the way. Just like in uh, just like in Portal. This game's got some serious portal vibes for sure, for sure. Also, Cody's here. Oi, oi, Chody. Chody, how are you doing, friend? Welcome in. But yeah, Dizzy, if you need to go get yourself some food, or you need to get yourself some water, or you need to go watch some That's a Raven, get the heck out of here. Get the frick out of here and take care of yourself, or else. Or else. Insert, insert my emote with a gun. You better take care of yourself now. Just because this game's fascinating doesn't mean that you get to... What the frick? Doesn't mean that you get to ignore your... What the frick? What the frick? <laughs> what is happening? This game looks like a perfect game to play while drinking. I thought about that, but I also didn't sleep last night. So that's, that's my... That's my weird mental thing going on is that I, I'm I'm going I'm going with uh, I'm missing one night of sleep and I'm trying to figure out this game. <laughs> but yes, either either drunk or or inebriated somehow. <laughs> ah! No, put that back. Put that filthy block back. So what the heck am I supposed to do? How far do these pull out? Wow. Is that just it? Is this the solution? <laughs> you telling me that this is worthless? You telling me that that one and the one below this are worthless? What kind of puzzle is this? You just pull out you just pull out this drawer. I know. What, what is this? Recon, I'm confused. Please note that a reluctance to volunteer for the risks associated with explosive mental overload implies a misunderstanding of all other solutions, all of which are far more traumatic and likelier to result in catastrophe. Oh, I love this. Every single room is just like oh, some new shocking thing happens. Possible. I guess that's the way to escape. I love it. It just falls into pieces. So far, the puzzles have not been too hard, but the but all of the fancy perspective effects are just fascinating. Listen here, Siri. It does. It sounds like it, it sounds like the the TTS for TikTok. I just found this game. Subliminal is so crazy. My block just turned into a million blocks. Like and subscribe for more. What is... <laughs> we could just drop blocks over there if we wanted to. But we got to make sure that we don't go past that wall, I guess. If we want to, we can just grow the blocks like this. It's this weird, weird perspective in this game. We can we can still grow them. We just have to make sure that we don't don't push them over that edge. Otherwise, they're gonna disappear into this void. Hey yo, easy peasy. Hey uh, boo boo. <laughs> we got a picnic basket. Ah, <laughs> this block is really big. Ah, <laughs> I hate that. No 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 no. Yeah. Oh, I did not mean to fall. I was All right. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> you got to get ready and head out for din din. Yes, Dizzy. Enjoy your dinner. Enjoy your dinner. Oi, oi. And thank you again for the raid. Golly G. Golly G. Oi, oi, oi. I just started looking for concert tickets. And I'm keeping my eyeball on y'all are y'all's area so that I have an excuse to go down. Have an excuse to go down south. You know what I'm saying? Look at this big cheese. Big cheese moment. Dream layers of the mind. Jo Jonos Dawson, Arthur Willis, Jojo Smith, you're here. P 
People only dream of ordinary objects. Boring. Emotions and expectations. Highly affect dreams. I have no idea what any of that means. So I'm gonna ignore it. Also, Pingy Rage. What's up, what's up? Again, thank you for the follow. It is super cool, this game. And if this game looks interesting, another game that I can recommend is uh, Anti Chamber. That is a game that I have played. I've never, I've never played this before. There's a lot of games that are kind of like this, that are just like trippy first person, funny puzzle games. This antechamber and the Stanley Parable all kind of, all kind of run in the same in the same league. But they're all, but they're all very unique. They're all very unique so far. And also, this game is available on. I'm playing this on the Xbox uh, Live like Game Pass. And you can get the Game Pass. This is not sponsored. I, I will be paid nothing for this. But uh, it has a deal where you can have one month for $1 on a, the Xbox Game Pass. So you could play this game for essentially a dollar. If as Just make sure that you cancel your subscription in time. That's how they get Hello. you. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. And despite two There's also a lot of games on it, too. The There's Scorn. Completed, um, you may still be Frog Detective. <laughs> I don't remember what else is on there. Age of Empires. There's a bunch of stuff. Why do I feel like everything is going wrong? Even when the sun is shining. Mm. It's a big... This took a turn. I don't like this. The the whole tone just took a turn. Yeah, Grounded is also on there, which is good, because I wanted Grounded, and I didn't want to pay for it. <laughs> Not with real money, anyway. Suddenly, not feeling the good vibes. Don't worry, I'll protect y'all. Nothing's going to get us. Nothing can get us. Perception is reality. Don't don't forget. This doctor needs to get his license revoked. I don't think that's a real doctor. I think this is a Dr. Phil situation. Okay, so I can grab these. And there's blood? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on now. Hang on now. This took a double turn. Why is there blood in here? What's going on? I don't like this. <laughs> is this a fake door? No, it's a giant door. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that got me. <laughs> the door, the door closed. <laughs> That's the most frightening thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, no, I said epilepsy warning for anybody that has that has uh, epilepsy problems. Make make sure you be careful. This game got flashing lights. Monday murder, Tuesday murder, Wednesday murder, Thursday murder, Friday murder. This is me whenever they get my order wrong at McDonald's. We just go through the store again. Need to go up here. Mm. Sunday beans. <laughs> That's true. I didn't notice. All I saw was murder. I had murder in my eyes. Hmm. What's the trick? Could be lights. It's two. It's two lights. Oh. You can just walk over here. There's just a whole other room that you just cannot see. I'm gonna go backward real quick. It's another jump scare door. It's just a bonus door. Not allowed. Is this a visual perspective? Am I about to get tricked? Ah, I don't like that door over there. Oh, <laughs> it looks like it says, Die, die, die. But it's just diet soda. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. This game's not violent. That was ketchup back there. Oh, more ketchup. Oh, goody, goody. 
Goody goody gumdrops. I think that these are, oh, it says Monday, Tuesday. All of these are the same. Sunday beans. They really want to make sure that you didn't miss the Sunday message. Mm. Ah, ah. There's a hole. Ooh, I like this. I like this. They make you use the use the light to determine where the path is. That's fun. That's a dead end. Dang it. This is a clever idea. I don't I don't think I've ever seen this in a game before. Aha! Or red paint? That's true. Could just be paint. Could be jam, could be jelly. Cats up. Now I'm scared of every floor. Every every time that the floor is extremely dark, I'm gonna be scared that there's a giant pit. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk more about the feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt I mentioned before. You feel this way because you want the kind of happy life you see all around you, the kind you know everyone else is enjoying. And that's exactly why we're here to help. Hmm. It's a giant tarp? Oh, I really don't I really don't like these shadows. Oh, there's a little person in the door. Oh, it's just a, it's just a chess piece. Don't be silly, it's just a little pawn. It's a really big pawn, actually. It's upgraded. Fully enlarged. It's called Force Perspective. Yeah. There is forced perspective in this game. But we haven't encountered it in a while. The door's locked! Let me out. Guess I'll look this way. There's a pawn here? An umbrebra? No, that's a that's a sink. Ah. Sign says to go this way. Oh, there's a there's stairs. This is really fun. Like, uh, just having to watch the shadows. Same thing from earlier. I like it. Lots of clever ideas in this game. Warning. You were advised to subject yourself to explosive mental overload by descending <laughs> into additional dreams, but have now descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting yourself even further. Inception. You are responsible for failing to make this I crucial can't, distinction. I can't pull these boards off. What do I do? Exits that way. Is there something I can pull through here? Hmm. Is it something about the, the shadow casting? I don't see any objects to grab. There's nothing back here, was there? Hmm. wonder what it wants me to do. Oh, I could grab the light. Can I, like, make any door an exit? Or is it just the way that I orient the light that matters? No. The light? Huh. I don't know. I, I pulled it through here. I could make it big. <laughs> I could make it a huge object. Getting bigger, stronger. Let's smack this wall. Yeah. Hmm. Let's just look around. Maybe we just use this to make a new exit. Put it up here. Nah. Hmm. Maybe we just need it to find another exit. Do little do. -do. No, we can't we can't bring it through here. Ah, but this just finds a, a hidden area, I think. Ooh. I like the atmosphere in here. Just a red light. Red light surrounded by darkness. Hold close to the light, friends. It's our only chance. Boom, we made it out. Okay, anybody thirsty? Have you ever had a dream that you um that you could that you had? <laughs> 
Did you ever have a dream that you had another dream that you, um, green soda? You want red soda again? Oh my gosh. And it's too predictable. I'll put the red soda in front of the red light. You, you can come get it yourself. You want baking soda? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get that too. We'll bring the baking soda with us. Eh? It ate my dollar. I'm sorry. So under the red light, the the blood doesn't change doesn't change the way that it looks. So we can just walk through here? And that just stays in there. We can still see it. Got to be something to do with that, right? Just a brick wall. So maybe we need to just rotate it and then that brick will be gone. Possibly. Like uh, this. Whoa. There it goes. Um, just disappeared. I hope that that's not the, <laughs> hope that that's not the puzzle. Is it just went? Uh, bye bye. Oh no. Oh no. Have I lost a key object? <laughs> it just went through solid stuff. No. <laughs> Come back. Will it? Will it reset? Notice emergency generator this way. Hmm. Maybe, maybe that wasn't the solution. Maybe you could just pull that down for fun. Emergency generator is this way. Well, there's darkness here, but I don't feel an entrance. Stupid brick wall. Uh oh. Uh oh. Did we break it? I still see a red light though. Yeah, the red there's still a red light around this door. Hmm. Hmm. Think, think. Think, Earl. What what could it be? Glass. Can't bring objects in here. Yeah, maybe we were just supposed to drop the sign over it. This is just brick? Hmm. I don't see anything else to grab. Maybe it's still a matter of perspective? But all there are are lights. Parkour time? Parkour doesn't do anything for us. Oh yeah, and I think there's a solid wall up there actually. I don't think you can... Yeah, no, you can't pass objects through there. There's an alarm bell up there. Maybe we gotta press some buttons? None of these buttons do anything anymore. We do still have our soda. I was just kind of curious if it was going to disappear into the void like our last item. Uh, we may have broken it. I'm not actually sure. This game is so dang confusing. I, I have no idea. Hmm. What, what other tools have they given me? We just lost our, our element. Back in the room with the brick wall, did do the parkour thing again? Uh, sure. We'll like climb up on these uh, on these boxes here. Eh. It almost seemed like there was a hole in the wall. Oh, here you're right. You're right. It is up here. We were being bamboozled. Good eye. Did you know that Good unintentional multi-dream layering occurs in less than 1% of patients? This correlates strongly with the 99% of patients who are able to follow simple instructions from the standard orientation I bet protocol. you, you were supposed to use that exit light to be able to find that entrance. But Alchemic found it with, with no light. So who went ahead of us? This is just a dream. So I'm wondering uh, who's getting killed in our dream. Could be anybody. Say Ikea. <laughs> idea. <laughs> Y'all want to go to Idea and get some Norwegian furniture? Ooh. 
you wish. This interior is not nearly fancy enough to be an Ikea. But we get to work the kitchen. Order up. Hey, hey, we got hungry customers out here. This is the backup generator that they mentioned earlier. We got a can of soup. So I'm supposed to break down this, maybe? This wooden structure? Ah, these these seem pretty tough. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't look like it's that. We just have a giant can of beans. It's red paint. It is. It is just red paint. You're right. You're right. There's red paint everywhere. There's some open windows up there. But we only have one can. Oh, do we need to roll the can on here? This does look like a some kind of rolling mechanism for a giant can. But it always resets. Wonder what this is this faux wall just just here? Hmm. Maybe, maybe it's nothing. Let's let's see if we can continue without uh, doing anything. Looks like that can of beans was unimportant. Need to sleep. Cloning, biggest question. Which is the real one? <laughs> Classic. Classic question. Classic dilemma. How do you determine if you're the clone or not? I guess you have to have a third party to decide that. Loading, 600%, 700%. 1,000% loaded. So many alarms. Boom. Our new alarm setup worked perfectly. I'm, I'm awake just in time. All right, but we're still in a rush. We're going to have to get a granola bar for breakfast this morning. I don't have time to cook anything. I'm sorry. I'm getting worse and worse at waking up. Back to this door nonsense. Just shutting down a hundred alarms. That's me on my phone though. Me, me on my phone is going like, okay, now I've finally woke up. Well, I can go off, 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 off. Just go down the list of all the extra alarms that I made just in case. Ah, look at these stuck to the ground. The game's getting cheekier. So we can't grab these objects. And open the door. We, uh, I guess we have to bring something, eh? Can. It's making full use of the can now. Maybe the soda machine doesn't work now. Oh no, look, you can't you can't bring it. I guess it's just the door, maybe? The one object that they gave us. Bingo. Kind of a skinny doorway. Turn it off! It says two, three. Goes up to eight. Maybe there's a code we're supposed to input. I only see one of them though. We we do we need another one to make a code. It's beautiful. Look what we've created. How long could you do this before the game broke? That's my question. Before my computer started chugging. I'm guessing they have an instance limit. Are they disappearing yet? Can you tell? I wonder if it'll make them disappear by... Oh, nope, that's it. That's the max. It says clone an object too many times. That was an achievement. All right, we hit the instance limit. Nice. <laughs> Still running smooth, hey. Hello, I had a good date. My friend was writing a Lafayette story and no, normal nothing weird. Ah, Jay, don't scare me like that. <laughs> Jay, what's up? I'm glad that you're having a good day. Uh, in exchange for Jefferson drawings, eh? Hey, no bonks. 
I've been good all night. How dare you? That's a low even for you, Anne. More objects. So each object can be cloned that max amount. Mm. Thank you for the head pad. Aw. Star system. Bless you. Bless you. Look, we make a, a path. <laughs> Thank you for the sip. Mmm, yummy. Fake cloud. Fake cloud moment. Cloud gaming. Attention. Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. Significant memory right -click loss, to both return. quantitative and qualitative. Hallucinations of Whoa. dreaded or annoying objects. Unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways. And other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. Go just make some stairs. I ain't leaving. I ain't leaving till I find out what's going on here. Is that all that there is in here? What's with this big old wall, eh? Nothing. Nothing. This is just a little secret spot for me. But I shared it with y'all. Boyong, boyong. Oh, I have a little smiley face for a cursor now. <laughs> That's random. <laughs> Is that going to change the way that I interact with things? <laughs> That's silly. Look, it's, it's almost smile o'clock. It'll be only one more hour till it's smile time. Oh. Smile's gone. It was just there for a minute. Why did that pop up? What the heck? I don't even know when the smile appeared. It was just there for a little bit. <laughs> Anne does what Anne wants. That's what I'm afraid of. That's what scares me the most. That's what keeps me up at night. Right click to return. Return it maybe just uh, is for resetting. Big apples. So I, oh yeah, you just roll it out of the way. Well, there you go. That was ac accidentally on purpose. All according to plan. Here's another one of them. There's there's probably a code. So this is this is number two. This is the number number two. But uh, it's too late because I don't know what the code's supposed to be. It was probably on a piece of paper or something. We got a fan. These puzzles are starting to get advanced. But what, uh, what's the goal? Goal is to get a fruit up here? And all the fruits, whenever we make more of them, they just get blown away. We can't pick up these fruits. So, do we need to make them grow bigger somehow? Yeah, I think we gotta make them grow bigger than each other. So, maybe from a certain perspective they'll grow bigger? Hmm. They always seem to grow smaller and I already tried duplicating them from a high point. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the distance is, is doing me any favors. Yeah, even from here, hmm. How, how would you make this duplicate to be larger? If that's even the solution. Yo, Bree, thank you for the prime. Oi, oi, what's up, Bree? Oi, oi. Hi, hi, hi. Hello, friends. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the prime. Oi, 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 oi. No. How do I get it up the stairs? It's got to be. They got to get bigger or something. Do they have to go over here? Put your face next to the apple? Yeah, we could try that. Bree, we're playing this super confusing game. <laughs> no, the closer you get to it, the smaller it makes the objects. 
Maybe if you look up. No, it always it always makes them small. Whoa! Build a tower. Whoa. This hurts my brain. But even if we got a big apple, what would we do with it? Can the fan be rotated? That's a good question. Ah, it doesn't seem to have any interaction. So I can only make the, I can only duplicate them or delete them all. And they get progressively smaller, eh? No matter what? Yeah, it looks like they just get progressively smaller if I'm further away from them. But even if I'm close, they still seem to get progressively smaller. Yeah, because it's always, well, it's probably, it's probably not this. This probably doesn't do anything. Shwoop. That's fun. I like that. Hmm. What? It broke, it broke through the ceiling, but the game still recovered. That's interesting. Yeah, Stormy boy. Waffles! Thank you for the four months! Oi, oi! Thank you so much! I'm Free and Stormy coming in with the heat? Tomorrow. Thanks Thought for making the stream hype, y'all. Super appreciate it. Oi, oi! Bree and Stormy, Stormy, how are you doing? Chilling in hotel before the con. What 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 convention is it again? I think you already mentioned it, but I already forgore. I'm sorry. Did we just go where the apples go? Maybe it's all a trick. Nope. Clone it once and roll it. Mm, that might be. That might work. I didn't realize that you could roll these things. I didn't know that you could that you could push them. That's a good idea. Oh, it's so heavy. It's too heavy, and I can't roll it all on my own. Too heavy. Ooh. Ooh. No, even a big apple doesn't work. So it's not that. It's not. It's not that. Maybe we just need to go around the fan. I thought I already got really close to going around the fan, and it didn't work. Hmm. Yeah, look, I can get around the fan, but then I just can't bring objects up here. Because I can't pick them up. Oh, look at that. This object just went flying up here. Are you just supposed to get lucky? Look, there's a little apple. A little apple. Bring the apple. Come on, over the ledge. Apple balls. Is that enough? That's loads of apple balls. We did it! We did it accidentally. <laughs> Limon berry! Is it subliminal? Yeah, 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 yeah. Or super liminal, sorry. This game is bonkers. Dr. Pierce Have you seen this game before, Lemon? This has been lots of fun. This is making me want to replay Super to uh, uh, Anti Chamber. I, I mean, no subroutine to correct these errors, but I cannot mm. compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. You will not receive these messages. They would not make sense regardless. Somna Sculpt, but now it's been changed to Somna Gallery. Somnusculpt Gallery. Now oh, there's just beautiful paintings to look at. We do here. Just duplicated something. Duplicate these little handles, but for what? For what? For who? Can't grab them. Hmm. It's definitely getting progressively trickier. That'd be another object. Fire extinguisher. <laughs> Just shoots off a few a few puffs and that's it. Yeah, the only thing that I can see here is the handle.
I don't see what this would do. Oh, we can grab the sign. I'm silly. There we go. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> it's just a different object to grab the whole time. Ooh, we got some blueprints. 7 AP. Neuromorality. How to start it. Is a flashlight that I can't grab? Is the same uh, same schematic from earlier? Attention, Doctor Pierce continues Baking to soda. input significant errors. Yummy. I will interpret his basic ideas. Hello, my introductions are redundant. I am a real doctor who went to doctor school. VR what has never heck? been a mistake. I can help you, but I also the do not know soda how. was another soda machine. Transmission ends. Whoa! Giant machine. Amazing. <laughs> Curators only. Big soda machine. Giant soda. Mm. <laughs> All these worthless little pole, these little pulley things. They don't do nothing. Name is my Pierce Dr. Glenn. To the what if I forget to set the alarm? Experience, team of your care leader, patient years ten development. Conditions struggle you whatever. The levels with. even end in an elevator. Invention. Big portal two vibes. With cutting a tomorrow can bright. Cutting a tomorrow can bright. Oof. Wake up! Wake up! Good morning. So the, the hours are getting progressively further along. I wonder what the last hour is. Ah, we've unlocked a new zone. The relaxation zone. There's a dream diary here. Started in the bedroom. Was walking towards the door but couldn't reach it. Voices on the other side of the door. They were saying something like a uh, nursery rhyme. Intense feeling of deja vu. Tuesday. Floated through space for what felt like seven hours. Plenty of stars. No planets in sight. Wednesday. Started on the sofa in my living room. Couldn't move. Ooh, I hate that. I hate, I hate, uh, what is that called? Sleep paralysis. It's only happened to me like one or two times, but sleep paralysis is terrifying. Because you can't, you're like half awake, half asleep, and you can't move. It feels like you're, you're trapped. Like you want to, you want to move. Your brain is awake, but your body is like fully asleep. V very yucky. Do not like that. Uh, Wednesday was in my kitchen, then suddenly in the hall. Then it ended. Thursday began with falling off a huge cliff. <laughs> right before landing, fall back to the top of the cliff. Repeated this many times. Realized I had, s I had no hands. <laughs> oh, I can barely read these. Friday, wandering through a seemingly endless forest, wolves howling in the distance. Weekend. Took the weekend off as usual, so no dreams. Monday, was eating cereal for breakfast. Was eating the cereal, but was not re but it was re but it kept refilling. Cereal everywhere after a while. Tuesday. Oh, that's so small. It's so hard to read. Arguing with my best friend in high school. We were in the bank. I think we were getting a loan or something. Okay, good. I'm glad I'm glad that I struggled to read that as much as I did. It was worth it for the lore. These dreams are important, okay? Your dreams are important. This is why subliminal can't can be done while you're asleep and your body won't feel it. What? Subliminal? Ooh, this looks kind of relaxing, except for the light is super blue. Not not very good for sleep. It would need to be yellow. This blue light will keep you up. Oh. Glitched out for a moment. The green room about us and our mission. It's so small, I can't read it. Is there a zoom button that I didn't know about? I'm going to double check the controls. Grab, interact, pause, jump, rotate, look. Horizontal, look left, look right, look vertical, look up, reset. No, it doesn't look like there's a, um, doesn't look like there's a zoom or anything. 
That's too bad. I wanted to read what this said, but I think it's too small. We shall continue to the exit. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. <laughs> Stop this introducing yourself every time. That you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. All right, so just do what we just did again. No, we're back in the office. I think we're going to going to continue to the next level. That was just a little in betweener. Ah. Oh, I do not like that. That the falling makes me uncomfortable. It's a house. Whoa. A house. Yeah, I don't know what it is about the falling that, that like makes it effective like that. Don't know why that makes me so uncomfortable. They do they do something. They trick my they trick my brain. So this room needs to be the right size. Or or no, it doesn't. We can just climb up this. Our character can kind of like hop up ledges. Whoop. Now we're a child. I want to get a baking soda. I am hungry. Just just thunderstorms. It's like I'm a kid again. All my memories come flowing back to when I was a small child. Oh look, a little door. A little door for a little man. No! I'm not allowed in. We gotta make this room smaller. Or no, we need to make it. Oops, I broke the game. I broke the game. Great. <laughs> um, and there's no, there's no hitbox, huh? There's no hitbox to, to knock me out. <laughs> Yo, Parker, what's up? This game is bonkers. I would love to show you it. I sure would. Sure would love to. I guess I got to reset to checkpoint. Last, last time was a minute ago. Okay, we got to. Oops, I broke it. Somebody come fix this game. But look at this. Look at this wild. Have you seen this game? Oh, you've played it. Okay, good. But it's like, if you raise the object up, it gets bigger. And it just, it, it doesn't hold objects directly in front of you. It's so trippy. I love it. Okay, let's make sure to not do that again. Make sure we don't do that again. Have you played Antichamber, Parker? Have you played the Stanley Parable? Have you played Dr. Laszlo and the Tiger? I just gotta make this room bigger, right? Because I gotta be small. I got to be small. A small little baby. Here, here, here. Look. I fit through the door. Perfect fit. Speak to me. Oh. You can just pick this up. I'm stealing it. Boom. <laughs> An old TV. We gotta unplug it. It's all propaganda. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn. Yeah, you just keep talking, mister. In addition to continuing and discontinuing... Talk to just a bunch earlier, of baloney. Please also disregard any unsettling ah. experiences that you may have recently... Why had. is this shooting off sparks? Everything should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. If this is not the case, you may be zappy, receiving zappy. this message in error. Oh, that was an error, all right. I don't like that. I don't like the horror elements in this game. They, they just happen randomly and it makes me uncomfortable. This game already has kind of weird horror vibes to it. Because it's so uncanny. That works. Doodly doo dee doo. <laughs> I will say these puzzles are not too hard. Doodly doo dee doo. S 
subliminal actually triggers the liminal space in your mind. It's called super liminal, right? Isn't that the name of the game? Super liminal? Yeah, it's like extra liminal. Look at these liminal spaces. See these, these are, these are those liminal spaces all those kids on the internet have been talking about. Ah! Ah! I didn't like that. Ah! <laughs> ah! Whoa. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> this hurts my brain. Ah! All right. <laughs> we went through the window. And into this hellscape. Hooray! Oh, look, a little door. A little door for a little man. Doo -doo -doo. All you gotta do is just walk through the doors. Easy game. Ooh, shower time. No, the water's out. Did y'all not pay the bill? Ugh. Hmm. Shower time. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I hate this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I hate how perfectly this perspective works. I hate this. I thought that it was just going to transition me to the ceiling. Or to the wall. Whoa. Okie dokie. That's so cool. I hate it. I hate it, but I love it. Oh. It reminds me of uh, the mirror universe from um from Doctor Strange. The good Doctor Strange. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Ah. And I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational quote by me. The worst thing you can do is focus on negativity. Oh. It won't spare you from the cage of death, the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, oh. the cold shell of human nature, or the eventual loss of everything huh? you've ever held dear. Whatever you do, don't focus on that. Whee! Whoa, we're flying! Ooh. Oh no, we're falling! Oh, Oh, wait. Huh? <laughs> this is cool. Liminal. Lemon. Lemon. Aha, uh -huh, big lemon. What? Oh, that didn't work. Whoa. Lemon. It's not bouncy. This is the forbidden bouncy house. The bouncy house with no bounce. Lemon. Hmm. Hmm. Oi! 72 squirrels in a skin suit. It's you. You're finally here. You're just in time. Just in time. Whoa. Big house. There's got to be a simple solution, right? Lemon. <laughs> What's up, Floggy? Whoa. Big bounce. This is a bouncy house of, of rock and lies. It's true. <laughs> Buggles, what's up? We've, we've all been lied to. If we just got to... Oh, there's a door in it? Oh. Oh. Whoa. I didn't even notice. Oh. See, I thought we were supposed to go up there. But the solution all along was going into the house. Look at this big plug. This must be one of those tamper-resistant plugs where you have to push both of the prongs in at the same time. It keeps it from kids sticking in forks and stuff. Oh, I don't want to go in there. I don't have to go in there, do I? Oh, that doesn't look good. That looks awfully bad. Oh. Oh, that was just a warpy door. I thought that the whole thing was going to look like this. Nah, it's all normal. 
Oh, now I'm way up here. Now I get to go boy yo 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 yoing. Now for our big boy yo yoing moment. As soon as I can get this fan out of the way, I guess. Hmm. Is there something I gotta do on this edge? Do I have to? I have to be smaller. So that means that the bouncy house has to be bigger. Right? I wonder if I can even make it bigger. It was no, it definitely was bigger at some point. Oh Jesus. Yeah, that's a little large. A little too big. There was like a sweet spot where I could jump over this edge, but it wasn't too big. Yeah, maybe I just gotta get up here first. Then we make it bigger. Oh, oh my god. That'll work. Maybe. Are we smaller? I don't think we're smaller. That might not be the solution. Oh, is it? Oh. Oh. Oh, I can fit. How do you make it bigger? Well, shucks, now it's tiny. Ah! It's too small! Oh, I ruined it! I ruined everything. Ah! Maybe it's the wind sounds that are messing with us. Whoa! Is that big enough for us? Or do we need it bigger? Oh my god, I'm so small. I'm so small, I'll never be able to get up there. <laughs> no! <laughs> what am I gonna do now? I was a fool. <laughs> no, I'm too small. Ah! <laughs> Can I just reset? Can we get the old, the old Russian reset? No! We can't fit, we're too small. No, I can't get in. I have to drop in. Drop in like it's skating. <laughs> Boom! We can't make that jump, it's too big. Ah! Okay, here. What if we put it like right here? Oh my god. <laughs> no, I broke it. I broke the game. It's hopeless. It's hopeless. It's too late. We already made so many mistakes. I can't make it. Oh, it's too far. No, don't put it over the edge. Yeah, no! No! No, it's too... It's too we're screwed. It's too late. No, it's way too big. I can't fit in anymore. No. We would know it's too big. Oh, let me in. Hey, we made it through again. It's a miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. Okay, maybe maybe there really is a way. Oh no. This stupid thing is too big. No oh, one now it's tiny. There's no way to make it big while you're in here. I don't think. And let oh, maybe if you go super far away? You can't bring the object through there. Uh. Hey look, we put the castle over there. I think I need to reset. This is this is busted. We done busted it. We done busted the game. Oof. Okay, let's let's reset. Checkpoint. Alright, now we're normal sized. Whoa! Yeah, now we need to make this big enough that we can jump over here, right? It won't let me up. No, it's just barely too big. There we go. Boing. Now it has to be right next to the edge. Boyong, 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 boyoyoyoing. All right, huge moment. 
Whoa. Okay, that might be big enough. That's huge. Oh my god. It's a little too large. It's a little too large, to be honest. Oh yeah, you put it on the... Oh, that makes sense. No spoilers! How dare you spoil. How dare you spoil this game. You silly sausage, you. A day you spoil the impossible challenge. This game was impossible, but now I now it's so simple. You gotta head to work. Uh, have a good rest of your stream evening. Hey, Alchemic, we'll see you later. It's nice to hang out. Thanks for chilling. Thanks for chilling and watching over the chat, my friend. We shall see thee later. Ta-da! Hey! What's up, Jedi? The shiny mod has appeared! Jedi! Jedi Aurora! Yo, yo! How are you doing? How are you doing, you, you silly Jedi, you? Hello! My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Hello, Glenn. And I'd like to thank you for triggering every single one of our 823 emergency <laughs> protocols. You're welcome. This it's my job. You get to see your boyfriend tomorrow uh, for, for the first time in like a month. Hey, I'm so glad for you. Anyway, you're now headed in the right direction. And we should be able I'm to gonna get to see my boyfriend too as shortly. well. I'm going to be visiting him in no time. It's been... I don't know how long it's been since I've seen him. It's been months? No, no, it hasn't been months. We went to uh, TwitchCon. All right, so now we got to do shenanigans with these doors. So we need to go through the keyhole. Huh. This is going to take some thinking, I think. Oh my god. I'm going to become giant. Well, I'm not even that big. How tiny can you get? I'm not sure. Yeah, but do we want to get bigger necessarily? Is bigger is bigger better? So if we go through tiny door and go through big door, then we get taller. Yeah, then I can at least see through the keyhole. Now we just make this one bigger. This has to be bigger than the other one. That's, that's pretty big. Look how tiny everything is. I can see the game in there and a big soda cup. Yeah, but the thing is, is that I'm guessing I have to make it through that keyhole. Not sure how you do that. Can you stack these on top of one another? Uh, I don't think so. That's a that's a strong maybe. Oh, you could you could make one small and put it in there. Let me see. Let me see. Like this. I guess I have to position it just right. Uh, yeah, it might be, uh, oh, I could just put this in here and just walk through the door, right? Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> oh, this one has to be big enough. No, I can't make it big enough now. I need a, I need a door that I can walk through. No, it's too small. Oh, it worked. Okay, thank goodness. Whoa, this is so cool. I don't know what kind of effects they're putting on this camera, but the scale in this game is so good. I would love to play this in VR with like the 3D. Ooh. Look how small I am. I'm smaller than a pawn. I could get squished so easily. I'm like the size of a tick.
Or even smaller, I suppose. Well, now I can make myself a doorway to go through. I guess I'll put it here and then grow it. Oh, dang. That'll work. No, stop rolling around. There we go. I'm small. I could deny it no longer. I am small. We did it! Yay! That was a that was a fun level. Aw. Cat poster. <laughs> the loading bar. Give me a break. This is fake. It's a fake loading bar. <laughs> it had like six modes. Good morning, everybody. It's 3 a.m. Wait, no, time just went backwards. It's now earlier than it used to be. Emergency exit protocol initiated. Please prepare to conclude your Somnasculpt experience in 10. Uh oh. 9. I don't like the countdown. Error. Error logged by. Orientation protocol. Stand by for analysis. All errors today. Go windy. A windy. More red paint. Error analysis complete. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. This is inconceivable Ooh, as Somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate Finally, with a decrease baking in these emotions. It is baking soda in a can! <laughs> you do not want to do this in VR. What? Does it even... I, it probably Hypothesis. doesn't have it as an option, Patient does it? was improperly oriented. Conclusion. Impossible. I do want to do this in VR. I want to become sick. Improved hypothesis. VR Patient does not make me sick unless there's frame therapy. issues. Conclusion. Emergency exit wake up, protocol wake up, wake up, wake up, proceed. wake up, wake up, wake up. Emergency I'm trying. Has been emergency destroyed. Emergency destroyed. Instruction. Continue with Somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis as all orientation no. resources have been exhausted. We have to wake up. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. <laughs> no! Goodbye. Don't leave me here. Don't leave me here. Come on! Good morning. Just resets? What's happening now? I feel like my brain is on fire. Ah! That is really jarring. I do not like that. That gives me a sick feeling in the pit of my stomach. Is it just gonna do it every time? It's doing it sooner and sooner each time. Yeah, okay. Wow! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh no! I'm on the wall! Oh my god. <laughs> that was really disorienting. They had the they had the camera pointed up. But we gotta go down. Oh. What? There's a whole nother zone now? You wonder how the geometry and textures work for these objects? Like, how do they scale up and down without it noticeably straining? I know! That's immediately, I was like, this is some kind of crazy coding puzzle. Like, how are they pulling this off? I legitimately do not know. I feel like, okay, I feel like what they're doing, if I had to wager a guess, is that they're just making it a GUI object, and then they're spawning it again. That's what I'm guessing. I'd guess that they just turn it into a into a pure GUI object that just, you know, connects with the frame and then it somehow does some sort of a like I don't know, it 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 traces a ray out to figure out where you're pointing at or something. I think it has to be some tomfoolery like while you're holding the object. I don't think the object's moving while you're moving it around. Maybe, maybe if I move, maybe if I move an object, we can, we can see if it looks like it spawns. 
But there are shadows too, so that that makes me think that it's an object. Ah. This has given me some mortuary assistant vibes. Hey, D's Nook, what's up? Oi, oi, oi. D's, this game is, is breaking my noggin. My brain. Ah, fake, fake window. Yeah, it almost looks like it's spawning an object whenever you drop it, but maybe not. We walk into there? Can't make it any bigger. Uh, it looks like we can almost get in. No, I can't, I can't enter the frame. Maybe, maybe you just have to use this as a door. Maybe you just like line it up where a door would be. Whoa. Yeah, maybe it's just this spot that has room for it. No, I can't fit in. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's letting me in here. You rotate it to try to make it like more perfectly fit in here. Looks like it's so it's so close. Like this size. Oh, there it goes. Okay, okay. We just need to have a little hop. And now we can't go back. We've made our decision. Reminds you of a dream that you had once where you woke up seven times in the same spot doing the same thing? No, I hate that. I've had I've had fake wake up dreams before too. They're so uh, frustrating. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Like I start Thank getting ready for the, the day. Standard orientation protocol. Getting before all mentally prepared for school and stuff, therapy, and then all of a sudden, yoink! The You're sleeping. And fragile nature of the dream state. Doodly -do -do. Ooh, another pot. Oh, ah. Just changed gravity. Oh, I don't like that. But gravity only changes for me. Pawn's still there. Ooh, a little TV back here with a wheel of cheese. What's the TV point at, though? Found the TV, but is that what we were supposed to find? We gotta order some soda. We gotta go down here. Ah, oh. crooked town. <laughs> Still get up to shenanigans. Hmm. So do I just need to like stand in a certain spot and gravity will reverse, or might be timed? Break the doors. Wait. There's a weird edge here. Is there something here? It's gotta be like a false floor or something. Or false wall? This is a suspicious little line. I don't know what that's meant to signify. See anything to grab? Or anywhere to jump? Just rub against the walls? See if something happens? Hey, I'm trying to break that. It seems like there's something here. It's like a little lip. Uh, well, there's kind of a weird little lip over here, too. Just be weird lighting. Huh. Oh, can I grab something up here? Yeah, that's what it was. Well, 
I have a door now. Or a whole freaking ramp. Ooh, that's too big. That's too small. Is that just right? Nice. Game's helping me out here. They make it easy. Ooh, a little, little red. Eh? What? What did that pawn just do? Whoa. Hello? Where did it go? Was that an Easter egg? Was I supposed to be here? It just disappeared. It just went. You pop up in here? Hey! No bonks! Do it again. No, it's gone. We'll just go through Squiggle Zone. Our lights. Oh, look, a little, a little rip. Ripsky. Oh, game saving. That's significant. Of course, nothing is more challenging than this the game has fallen apart in the best way. Of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire trial by fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. Hey, what's up, Zoe? Thank you for the follow. Ooh, another one of these block things. I love, I love this perspective. I've been bam, I've been bamboozled. I've been absolutely bamboozled. <laughs> I thought we were lining up a block puzzle, but there was a trap on the floor the whole time. <laughs> nice. I was like, I love these puzzles. The game was like, oh, you do, do you? Ah. Ah! Dang! Nothing in this game is working the way it's supposed to. <laughs> They're subverting my my expectations. How dare they? Exit temporarily moved. We gotta find another way out. This way. Ooh. Music skin tense. Perception not. Perception not is reality or is not reality. Dead end. Now everything is as as it says. Is this a proper loop? Or do I just keep going? Perception is not reality. Hmm. Hmm. Grab this? Nope, can't grab that. Can I go back? Uh, I can't can't go back, it doesn't seem. Maybe maybe I just keep walking this. Until something changes. I think I gotta jump uh, onto this. No, it didn't didn't work. Try again. Huh. Can't can't seem to jump up there. it change? Yeah, even if we jumped, e even if we jumped up there, it wouldn't lead anywhere. Gotta be some trick. Some sneaky, sneaky trick. These doors are locked. Dead end, no trespassing. I can't grab any of these signs or the light. Bunch of paper hanging here for no reason. Hmm. Can't close any doors. Just a loop. Cannot, it cannot be that you just keep looping. It's gotta be something. Anything on the floor? No. Nothing unusual there. It really do say perception is not reality. No trespassing. Nothing to grab though. Hmm. 
It's most confusing. Ah, I wish we could make that jump. Hey, Erica, what's up? Oi, 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 oi. The purple hair. The purple hair just got washed for the first time. The color's sticking in pretty good. Eh? Huh. It's changing. It said bam. So what, but what, what? It's like this, there's that honking sound. Is that this clock changing? Clock, does it change? I, I don't know. Is it changing whenever that honking sound happens? Yeah, maybe there's a certain time that I need to go through. Does it move each time that I go through here? Ah! Why is the music intense? Definitely a puzzle. I mean, I, I, I guess it's a puzzle. I eventually just did something from walking through here. So this this block here is to is to block my view of the exit. Listen to that. Above the big door it changes numbers next to the hallway. What did you do the first time? Oh yeah, hall two. It says hall two. Let's let's watch what it says. Hall three. Back to hall back to hall one. All one. So maybe it is a clock thing, but I don't see the clock changing. This light is kind of janky. Makes these little noises. Yeah, it, it is whenever I wa what? Now I'm to hall one, but I can go left. That's hall two. Does it have to do with where I'm looking? It, that worked. What about this? No, it didn't like that for some reason. Stop signs each time. Touch the stop signs? Yeah, I don't know. It wasn't uh Light ping means it's correct? What do you mean? What do you mean light ping? This thing? W what do you mean correct? I don't have a choice here. So what? Is it like a speed run thing? You just have to go really fast? Ah! What the frick? It's backwards again. No. Oh. Yeah, so maybe it is just a speed thing. Ah. I don't know why I didn't like that. Honk. What the frick? Okay, so the lights just, but the light always looks the same. Like that light looks the same. These lights always seem to be the same. I could check the clock, I guess. So the clock's at like, what, like 10, 10, 25-ish? I'm not very good at reading clocks. Uh, it's the same position, the clock's not changing. Is the noise changing? I mean, the honking, the honking changes. Sometimes it's ding. But if I just run through randomly, it, it eventually changes it. Look at that. Like, every time it lets me get three dings, 
No, two dings that time. And so, so it's that right, right again. Uh, is it like a lock? Is it based on which hall you walk down? No, because I I don't get to choose. I don't get to choose. It's always one. It's always one side. Like I don't get to choose which hall to walk down. One of them is always a dead end. One of them's a dead end, and one of them's the only way out. So I, I don't see where my choice would be in here, besides maybe speed. It can only be speed or timing. As far as I can tell. Could be like looking at the stop signs, but no, that happens every time. Yeah, maybe, I mean, it could be time, could be memory. I mean, time would be memory, I guess. Like you have to remember the way that it goes. Oh, okay, so it's left, left again. Look, now it's honking. What? That, why did that work? The air, yeah, the arrow changes. It's always, it's always the opposite. Is that what it is? It's just always the opposite. But it isn't always the opposite. See, look, this, this way it's claiming. It's claiming to go this way. Can I change the arrow or something? I, I still, I just don't understand where my choice is coming in here. Because the arrow never changes. It just sits there until I run a cycle through. So I don't get where a choice is. Look the opposite way to the, of the arrow. It's it's just this dead end as usual. This is silly. Let me know if you want me to tell you what happens. Oh, oh it's just it's a silly solution? Uh... I don't know. It seems like it'd be simple. Doesn't seem like that complicated. That's it. You just have to walk past, you just have to walk towards the stop signs. I already tried doing that like multiple times. I guess I was doing it wrong. Yeah, you just have to like loop around each, each time you have to go the wrong way first and then go the right way. But I thought of that a while ago and I tried to do it, but I guess I did it wrong. But yeah, I, I think that the solution was just, you always, you need to know which way it is and you always, yeah, you always look the opposite way of them. Yeah. I thought I had done that before, but maybe I was paying attention to where I thought the door would be and I wasn't looking at the arrow. So I, I think I just goofed it, but I, I had that idea a while ago. I just, I just didn't, just didn't do it. Just didn't do it right. Didn't do. Okay, so you want me to put this up here for some reason? Or I just need to jump up there? There's water. But these are like solid. It's like solid tubs. It's got to be more complicated than just crawling on a block at this point, right? Like, we're too far into this game for it to be giving me, like, little free throws like that. I, I can't grab anything in the water. Huh. Yeah, why is it getting stuck over there? Yeah, it looks like it's on something solid. Can you swim? Uh, not into this yet. Maybe we need to knock something down? Oh, it really is just a jump? Oh, then the, then the dice disappears and moves up here? Huh. I, I don't know why. Don't, don't know what that do. Road closed detour. 
I guess I'm gonna, I'll ignore that for starters. Better not do another one of those honks. <laughs> that was annoying. Whoa! Oh, that's cool. It immediately baked itself onto the environment. See, this is more evidence that makes me think that you're not carrying around an actual object. Finally, while we respect the unique progress of every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, even with the help of triggering mechanisms. That's the same puzzle as before. All right, some tiling on the ground is lost. I guess we go down there. I could take this with me. No, I can't. Because it won't go through this. Wow! So immediately go the wrong way and see what's over here. Nothing. Oh. Oh, we can write down uh write down notes. That's gotta be like a collection thing to to like find all the, the unnotated documents. Again okay, I was about to say this can't just be a normal cube puzzle. Time to go to bed. Fried brain. Fried brain for dinner. Oh, I can't move this. Yo, Blue Jay! Thank you for the 17 months! Boy! Blue Jay! Thank you so oh, much! Oh, wow. This is certainly a thing to see waiting for me after napping. Egg, egg, what frying the heck an is egg, happening? egg, egg, frying an egg, 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 frying an egg, avodico, egg, egg, avodico, frying an egg. avodico, avodico, <laughs> avodico. Thank you for the national anthem. <laughs> All rise, hands on hearts. This is just random at this point. I guess I just charge forward. <laughs> Yo, thank you for the hype. Thank you, thank you, Blue Jay. Welcome back. Snap back to reality. Oh, this is not a great thing to wake up to. Oh my god. Also dies here. Doivy. Doivy, what's up? Oi, oi, oi. Possible I'm supposed to be going opposite to the arrows, but I'll just trust them for now. Bruh. Bruh, I'm following the arrows. They ain't leading nowhere. Oh, there we go. Okay, it was just really long. Oh, Lord Almighty. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, my God. This... <laughs> my brain... <laughs> No, it was a chalk drawing all along. I should have known. Please listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock, which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. We're free. We made it out. Oh, my exit. We made it out. Ah, an unnavigatable hellscape. My favorite kind of sober trip. See, that's what I'm saying. This is how to get high without drugs. That is now a flat object. Oh, now that's a flat object. I'm guessing each each side of this cube I have to reach. There's the other side. And we got one final side to find. We already know where it is. There it is. Got all the sides, and there's the middle. 
POV American American parking lot areas. What? I've never seen this wide open of a parking lot. There'd be at least be a big Walmart nearby. At least be a Walmart. It'd be something. Night night. All right, uh, is, is everything normal again? <gasps> Walmart! You have entered the diagnostic framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Walmart. Jungles and Tonys. Diagnostic warning. Unrealistic use of dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state. Ooh. We made it to Dreamtown. Ah. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Shaking that dust. Shake that dust. Shake that dust down. Boom! It's got to be something about about just like banging this thing around. Look at this bonus door, bonus door that we're not allowed in. Maybe we need some soda. That's what we need. We need a big old red soda. Huh? Huh? Where my soda? At? Oh, look a little a little extra. Welcome to the extra zone. The unenterable zone. Wait, here's some here's some key components to how this works. Look, what if we drop it onto our head? Look at the geometry. It's all like normal in there. Oi! You're doing good. The five excite games. So we. And thank you for the 100 bitties. Look at the inside of the building. Whenever it's not, whenever you don't walk through the door, it's just like normal, boring geometry. Dude, ooh, look at this weird little wall bit. Little funny wall business. And this game is weird, but I like it. It's my kind of weird. I like that the dust falls. It seems significant. Hmm. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be fully implemented. Implemented. Oh, we got to bring it into the place. That's what it is. Now we got a building within a building. Whoa. Now the building is inside of the building. Now, if only it was big enough. That we could walk into it. Whoa. What if we take it out the back door? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Ah. Whoa. Oh, I'm outside of reality. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on now. Hey, now. Hey, now. Let me back in now. Hey, don't forget about me now. Let me in there. <laughs> oh no, I made a mistake. <laughs> I think I broke it. <laughs> now let me in, <laughs> please. <laughs> please have mercy. <laughs> have mercy, I don't want to be left out here in the, in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> no! I don't want to live. Diagnostic warning. warning. Paradox prevention protocols may not be no. fully implemented. Let me in. Implemented. No, I'm tiny. <laughs> I'm tiny and I'm in the void. Help! <laughs> Help me! <laughs> I think I broke it again. No! My paradox prevention! Whoa! Why is it dropped further than I am? Let me in. Ah! 
<laughs> now I really broke it. <laughs> God dang. This game's easy to break. Well. <laughs> it's pretty easy to just smash yourself through the floor and there's no failsafe for that. God dang it. Uh, oh, well, it... highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonascult Diagnostic Framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. Huh? What dream? This ain't a dream. This is my reality. What is happening now? Ah. Oh, that door broken. That's all bricked up. Is the little is the little house in here now? Is it in here again? Oh yeah, it is. That is a weird noise and it freaks me out. Oh. Diagnostic warning. Oh. Unrealistic use of dream Boom. objects may result in dream integrity fail state state states. Boom, big door. Okay. I'm gonna yoink it again. Here we go. I feel like we were getting somewhere, right? Just gotta make the object small. Then we gotta yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Please paradox for there it is. Any That's what I was supposed to do. Our reality is falling Please apart. Arr nar. Oh nar. My world, it's collapsing. Please for the load for Shucks. I think we're about to wake up. This is a cool effect. We did it. We broke everything. Ah. Whoa. Yummy. Endless. Look outside. You can see all the little stuff. There's all kinds of stuff out these windows. I wouldn't trust any of it though. Not next that I'll be the decider of that. I don't believe a god dang word this game says. Whee! Ah! Oh. Mmm. Bye bye. Oh. Hello. Grab. Big block. This looks like a door. Hey! Snap back to reality. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. You better and do some explaining, ago, mister. I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing. Where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to white space this guy's tripping it don't make no sense perception is not reality you can't just bend reality in your brain your human brain interprets reality one way I mean you can say that your perception is your reality but it doesn't ch you can't change what your eyes see that's the problem that's the problem with that you can't you can't make it whatever you want that don't make no sense. Beep boop, beep boop. Your eyes will see something and your eyes can be deceived. Like your perception can be off, but you can't change your perception. That don't, that doesn't make any sense. You just see what you see. Ah! Ah! Jedi, don't dox die. Not yet, anyway. What about those red and blue 3D glasses? <laughs> I mean... That... That uh, does... I would say that doesn't adjust your perception. Not really. Not really. You're, you're adjusting your environment, but I, I don't think that that's actually changing your perception. 
You still, you still perceive things in the way that, that is logical to your brain and to your eyes. Just because you put something in front of your eyes doesn't mean that that is actually changing your perception. That's not your, your, your true perception. If you see what I'm getting at. Ah! Divey, could you, could you whisper me sweet nothings? Tell me that, tell me that everything's gonna be all right. Your voice could be that silky smooth with a little bit of practice. The door said, erase me. <laughs> Honestly, same. That door is based. Not an exit. I didn't believe that the first time and I don't believe it now. What are you claiming to not be an exit? Is this a climbing level? Is this a parkour mission? Feels like parkour. Smells like parkour, but it's not parkour. That door ain't jack squat. Nothing to grab. Plenty to climb. But I, I don't really see somewhere to climb to. Really hard to see. There's a lot of glare. There's a lot of glaring issues with this room. Hmm. The light. Aha! It was in the shadow all along. Follow the lights till we find some more. Eh? What's this? Oh! The door! This looks very much like that uh, realm and everything every all, all at once with the bagel. No spoilers, it just has a bagel, that's all. Just a delicious bagel. Mmm, yummy. Yummy. A bagel. Sucked into subliminal. Superliminal. Oh. Also, all this white reminds me also of... Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. Not, or, or Charlie in the Chocolate Factory? Whichever one's a Tim Burton one. The the place that, that Willy Wonka's dad lives is like totally surrounded by white and it reminds me of this. A box. A pure cento. But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. What? I can't tell if I'm stupid. <laughs> I can't tell if I'm stupid or if he's stupid. Or maybe I'm just not paying attention. He went to a white space and figured out that changing his perception is not as easy as it used to be. Like, in the white space? What What is the white space even meant to represent? Like, inner peace or something? Like, once you reach inner peace, then you find it hard to change your perception, and you just accept things the way that they are? Like, I'm not, I'm not really sure what it's saying. I don't understand. This is a bunch of bologna. A bunch of delicious bologna on a sandwich. Mm, sandwich bread. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that's confusing. Oh no, our paradox is broken. All this white reminds me of the Oscars. <laughs> Allow me to agree in the most disgusted way possible. Oh, I love how tricky this game is. There's so many planes in this game. This game, especially at this time, has so many planes, which are like 3D objects that only have one face. They only have like a face that's pointing towards you. Or pointing away, either one. But that's how they're how they're doing this like white black effect where it's just like it's white on the bottom, you literally cannot see it. It's as thin, it's as it's thinner than a pixel. It literally has no thickness as far as the computer is concerned. 
It's like white on the bottom, so you cannot see it, not a chance. And once you elevate above it, then you can see the top of it. It's just loads of planes everywhere, tricking you, fooling you. I've been waiting for the solution to be walk backwards. Is it? Is it now? No, it does not seem to be now. Maybe one of these Wendy's? One of these Wendy's has a delicious square patty burger. Hello, Wendy? Is that you? Wendy? <laughs> Let me out, please. I promise your patties are good. I promise I like you more than Burger King. Just let me out of this hellscape. Help! Oh, something up there. Sussy. Maybe if we jump real high, then we can get up there. Maybe someday we'll be able to reach the sky. See, there it is, smiling down on us. Hmm. Are we able to grab it? No, nothing to grab up there. Well, it looks like we're kind of trapped in our little room here. This is an edge, even though it don't look like one. There's edges here on the walls. I don't see anything in the windows. We can't grab. Can't grab nothing. That's where we came from? Oh, okay. Well, I'm just trying to run through all the options, okay? I'm just trying to do my best in this crazy world. Oh. Baloney garbage. <laughs> a mere sliver of a digital reality designed to, I don't know, I'm already out of philosophical words. <laughs> words. A mere sliver of digital reality designed to baffle and amaze. If this game can expand your view of the universe, even by the most minute of margins, then the developers have done their job to view the world as an unlimited amount of options. Perception deciding reality instead of the other way around. You control your path, your destiny. All you have to do is look at your problems from a certain perspective and your entire reality will unravel before you like a origami crane what the hell do I do? Please help. Knock, knock. Help me. Police. Police, please. A twisted heaven. We've stepped too close to heaven and God has spit in our face. And now we're blinded. God's spit is in our eyes and we can't wipe it fast enough. He keeps spitting. He has unlimited spit. God is using his omnipresent, omnipotent, omnipotent powers to spit in our eyes endlessly. Curse him! <laughs> How do I win? Hmm. Unlimited acid spit? Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't say anything about acid. Sus. Sus. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, the only thing that I cannot do is stop trying things because that's the only way that I'll beat this game is just by just by th just thro throwing mud at the wall and seeing if something happens. It's hard to. <laughs> it's, I find it hard to believe that there's no acid involved in this game. Oh, what? Only psilocybin. <laughs> no acid. Huh? Eh? What? 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 You can just walk through the gaps? Just walk through the gaps in the Wendy's? This is baloney. This is the worst solution they could have chosen. This is democracy manifest. Silly Cybern. <laughs> Silly Cybern. Come on, Piglet. We've got a big shipment. I need you out on those in those woods, you will slinging. Be on and further out than anyone oh dear. has ever P -p 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 come back from. What if Christopher finds out? He won't. After all, 
if this is a place of pure oh, body laced his honey sandwiches, he won't be awake a for a long point of view time. Can make anything possible. Isn't that why you came here? Isn't that why you came here? To play a game. It can't be that simple. You have to be here for some deep reason. The developers have decided that the game is very deep. If you think about it, it's not even a game. It's your current reality. From a certain perspective, this game is realer than your life. Open your mind to possibilities. That's when your third eye can open and you'll be dragged to heaven like the rest of us. Wait, what's happening? Huh? Huh? I just had to walk through the door? Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I'm still endlessly amused by this. <laughs> now it's big. Now it's small. Look. Now it's big. Oh. Now it's small. Walk towards the light, Christopher. <laughs> The stuffs. <laughs> My stuff is calling you home. You've been away from your father in heaven for too long. You've escaped to this liminal space known as the Hundred Acre. But no longer, Christopher. It's time to wake up. You've been in a coma for a very long time. Your father's been whispering stories in your ears. That has colored your reality for too long. But now it's time for you to wake up. Your muscles have atrophied in all this time. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> How do we do this? This game is baloney. Oh. Oh. Maybe we have to eat them. Oh, open wide! <laughs> Stupid chess pieces. I always hated traditional games. <laughs> be, <laughs> be bathed in the sweet smackerels of my glorious stuffed aura. Feel that golden light, Christopher. <laughs> Feel the soft touch of a honeysuckle for the last time. Whoa! Big! Oh! Bigger! Oh! <laughs> last time I crushed myself to the floor. Boy, welcome back! I have returned, been mostly lurking in the shadows. How's the game? It's pretty great. <laughs> I love it. Whoa. More chess. I know chess the thing. <laughs> <laughs> what's the what's the point of this? Christopher closes his eyes. Wait, what is? I guess that, that's kind of close to the announcer. Christopher closes his eyes and receives a single red T-shirt. You are now ready, brother Robin. <laughs> <laughs> You're ready for the stuffing. You shall become like us. It is the only way for you to come back to the Hundred Acre Wood. Once you turn the age of ten, you cannot go back again. Not as a human, anyway. I'm sorry, Christopher. This is the only way. You must be stuffed. <laughs> like the rest of us. <laughs> This piglet voice? That's not piglet! <laughs> That's Pooh! Do you not know you're Christopher Robin? <laughs> I can't do a piglet voice. Piglet has a, d d a, a very soft voice. Oh, d d d dear. <laughs> p -p -p Pooh. I'm scared that he won't survive this stuffing. Don't worry, piglet. <laughs> We've been through this many times. <laughs> Do you remember Kanga? Do you remember Rue? 
You said the same thing. And now look at them. Living full lives in this <laughs> back room's ass. Hundred acre wood. <laughs> hey, what's up? Nick from Carico, how you doing? And Miles, how are you, how are you doing? Jedi, could you, could you give a shout out to our friendo Miles? Miles is a super cool player of the, of the, I always want to say D&D. The Dead by Daylight, DBD. DBD Gamer. DBD Gamer. They're very cool. They're part of our team, Team Harvest. Boy, I haven't seen you in a while, Miles. I should watch your streams more often, my friend. I've been a fool and I've been away for too long. This game tripping. Yeah, but this game actually tripping. Leave now while you can, Nick. No. No. You can't escape. Not now that it has begun. <laughs> I I am just riffing because I can't figure out what the frick to do. Okay. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to just try some different methods for walking across here. I've now stepped on every one of these tiles. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, Do we fall backwards? Yes, we do. So they give us two objects here and a lamp as well. So could place these but I haven't found any use in placing them here oh I see this is very simple this is a very simple puzzle that I should have figured out instantly but the fact that it was allowing me out of this room confused me I was befuddled I was tricked it was all a ruse all we had to do was just do this old this old lily pad the classic lily pad trick. All right now, do we do we need another one here? Huzzah! We made it past. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, on to the next puzzle. O, O is for obf obfuscation. <laughs> I can't even say it. It's such a fancy word, I can't even say it right. O is for obfuscation. B is for Big Bear. So what's this door all about, huh? Y'all want to tell me what this door do? O is for oh oh. O is for what the heck is going on? O is for oh my God, where are we? B is for boy, get me out of here. <laughs> How do I? What is? <laughs> what's the solution? Okay, I guess I'm gonna feel all the walls. I'm feeling, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. Spin that old block. Spin that block. I mean, we can make the block big, but how are we supposed to get on top of it? Cause we gotta, we gotta get up top. Up tip top. Oh, spit spot. Hey, who just booped me? Aerosimp, don't boot me while I'm thinking. <laughs> I told you a thousand times. Ah! <laughs> Cyber Wolf, you monster. How could you? You promised. A is for Axiom, your home sweet home. B is for by and large, your very best friend. Can you do like a jump trick here? Frick, that didn't work. This jump trick's not working. This is not a trick. That's not a trick. You can't do that. How the frick am I supposed to get on top of this thing? I don't get it. I need to go through that door. I need to go through the door. And I don't see a single thing in this room. I'm walking in a direction, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm stuck. So I can go, well, what's the point of that door over there? You did place it inside the door you can't go through. Yeah, you can do that, but it don't do nothing. Look, it just sits there. 
sits there all worthless like. What's the point of that, huh? What? What the who who? What the who done it? What's happening in here? Great, I switched sides. Now there's no door. Oh, there's a cheese wedge. There's cheese. There's cheese available. Cheese available at your local deli. Huzzah. Overpriced cheese, no doubt. It claims to be artisan, but that word doesn't really mean much of anything. Hooray! Maybe you are the block, if you get me. Are you calling me a blockhead, die? You didn't just call me a block, did you? Or are you saying that I'm a chip off the old block? Or are you saying that I'm about to block you? Because then you'd be correct. Look at this. You can just... Move on down. No reason to be silly. Oh, this way. E O E O. Oh, this is yummy. This is very yummy. Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah. That's the good stuff. That's that stuff you like. Oh, nobody has epilepsy. I already warned y'all. Warned you a thousand times. <laughs> Some dev stuff in here. <laughs> yeah. You gotten further than you've ever seen anyone get in this game? What? You mean you've never seen this game finished? The clock. Do y'all ever just sit back and realize how much time or clocks more specifically control our reality? Like it's just a way for us to measure the sun's movement, but now all of our schedules are based on it. Have you ever noticed how many times you check the time each day? Have you ever noticed how many things are planned around a time of day? We're slaves to the clock. Hey! <laughs> we are. Modern society requires the clock, but it's still, it still is like absolutely a master of our own creation. Man, this game just keeps on going, huh? <laughs> This is the game that keeps on giving. This game just don't know when to quit. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Stop introducing yourself. By now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. You see, everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. Yeah. They come to the Institute because they feel like they lack control. Okay. You, you want to elaborate? But ah! More often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face can't be solved. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so, we do the same things again and again and again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. Is that true? Is that true? He's saying that we... That it's because we won't change our tact? I mean, I, I guess so. I guess that's true. Is that we're, we're, we're just... We get stuck in cycles where we don't want to change our perspective. I guess... I guess that's true. Perspective shift. Got all that it takes? I mean, it isn't it isn't always just a perspective shift that does Your it. Life will always be a struggle. And you will always have problems. That's true. But today, you have the chance to see things differently. Even though it meant facing obstacles that seemed impossible at first, you thought outside the box and you overcame them. Because you saw things from every angle. You understood them for what they really were. Yeah. Because you kept moving forward, no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed, or how unexpected it became, you found your way. Yeah, I mean, it is a linear game that has a way to win. There's no way to win life, but I, I see what you're saying. I see you, I see you. 
Seems like just, see, the thing that I'm str struggling with is that I'm like, you can also just change your behavior. You don't have to change your perspective to change your behavior. Like, that's another way to face problems. And some part of you will say that none of this was real. So how could it have really meant anything? But just like the power of perspective itself, it will have been as real as you believed it to be. What? All you've got to do is wait up. Man, this is some this is some freaking hippy dippy some hippy dippy freaking philosophy here. <laughs> it's not as real as you want it to be. That's not true. It's still a video game made by people on purpose. It's not it's not more real the more you think it's real. It's still just code still just ones and zeros that's recorded on a either a magnetic disc or i don't know why i feel like being a smart ass right now <laughs> it's just it's just i don't know it, it bothers me a little bit it bothers me it, it sounds it, it does it's not a concrete it's not a concrete philosophy Perspective can both be short-term, like an immediate thing, and long-term, later thing. Pivoting your immediate perspective is pretty easy. You think adjusting the long-term is hard? Yeah. I mean, yeah, because you can change your, your current perspective by playing a game like this. A game like this can, can change your current perspective very easily. But yeah, making making those long-term changes, those are like uh, epiphanies. Those, those happen very rarely. I guess that this game is hoping that it can serve as one of those epiphanies that are like one of those mind blow moments where you're just like, whoa, I'll always remember what Subliminal said. Dude, I was on a weird life path, but then like all of a sudden I found this game, man. And like, oh, it just spoke to me, dude. Like, it changed my life. Like now, now I'm happy. I own this falafel joint. Like, it changed my life, man. I was working at GameStop. Now look at me, multi-billionaire. It's all thanks to subliminal. Life is a series of experiences. The more you invest in the story, the more the effects you experience, which kind of makes it more than ones and zeros. Mm, yeah, I mean that's true. This is it, it, it is more than ones and zeros in this in the sense that it's a communication tool. Yeah, because like it's more than ones and zeros because those those all like form together into into sounds that we recognize and that, that fire off certain things in our brain. You're definitely right about that. I was just saying that um, it, 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 it being part of reality, quote unquote, I think that it still holds its same place in reality and uh, your perception of it doesn't, doesn't really affect that. Like it has a strict, a strict reality in my opinion, but I mean, to be fair, everything's relative and, you know, everything's matter of perspective. So, I, I mean, I, I, I understand that, but eh, I don't know. Somehow I want to be technical about it. Arrow, we'll see you later. Puzzle fun. Oi, oi. Enjoy your sleeps. Get some good rest. Thanks for dreaming with us. Thanks for daring to dream. We did it. We dreamed. We beat the game. Wow. We even we even learned we even earned the wake up achievement. I don't see my mouse on the screen, but I see that it says we have extra modes. Challenge mode, developer commentary. I bet that's kind of interesting. The 100 acre dream. <laughs> wake up, Christopher. Wake up. <laughs> We're not real. <laughs> he wakes up like hearing Pooh's voice and then his vision starts to unblur and he just sees Pooh and he's like, Pooh Bear, we had the most fun time. Pooh just stares blankly. Pooh? Pooh? Say something, old bear. Silly old bear. Say something. Stares blankly. <laughs> Piglet? Eeyore? My friends, why aren't they talking anymore? <laughs> Dude. This is this is a dark script that we're working on, but I I, I kind of like the direction. I feel like I feel like we should start storyboarding this. 
<laughs> the sudden urge to go watch Liminal Spaces again. What is that? What's Liminal Spaces? <laughs> Jedi. Jedi walks away every time. Kenny, Winnie the Pooh is now royalty free. He is royalty free as long as he doesn't have a red shirt. The red shirt makes him a Disney property, actually. Like, that's all that it takes, apparently. <laughs> it's royalty free. Let's make a comic. We could do that anyway. We could make a comic right now of copyrighted material. Just so long as you don't monetize it. And even if you did monetize it, you'd probably get away with it, too. What if he wears a cultic red cloak? <laughs> yeah. A different red, like a red pair of pants. What about that? <laughs> could he wear red shorts? Would that, would that be breaking the copyright? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, we might be skirting close to the law, but I mean, listen, there, there's, there's parodies of Winnie the Pooh on freaking YouTube. Like, they don't they don't strike stuff like that. They, they wouldn't strike a, a comic book. It, they would strike it if you tried to publish it. If you tried to give it, like, proper publishing and sell it, then you'd be in trouble. Or if it was clear and the shirt was white with um some some tomato sauce drenched on it. Yeah, exactly. It's just a white shirt with a big red splatter on it. You can see the edges. You can see the edges of the splatter. <laughs> That's awful. I don't believe it. I don't believe that Pooh's got all that juice on him. Where'd it come from? We got all the ideas, see? Uh, we just gotta get in a conference call together and make this Pooh thing a reality. We gotta, we gotta make this Pooh a reality. <laughs> That's what we need. Well, Subliminal was uh, pretty awesome. I really enjoyed that. It's fantastic. Yeah, it definitely definitely makes me want to play Antichamber again and uh, Stanley Parable again. Maybe we can maybe we can play those as a stream sometime. Cause uh, it's been a long time since uh, since I've played those games, and they are they're super fun and they're they're pretty trippy, kind of like this game. Very much like um, Impossible Geometry and stuff like that. But yeah, this game was this game was awesome. I I gotta say, this Xbox Game Pass being the one dollar purchase that I made so far, um, this has been an incredible deal. And they have like a bunch of a bunch of new games coming out, a bunch of games already on here, a bunch of games that I've already paid for, unfortunately, <laughs> that are already in my Steam library. But yeah, if you're if you're wanting to play some games for cheap, this is a this is a pretty dang good option. I'll say that. I'll say that and no more. But uh, yeah, let's let's look for somebody to raid. Um, tomorrow, semi early. Uh, I'm I'm not 100 percent sure, so just keep your keep your eyeballs keep your eyeballs out because we might be streaming early tomorrow and starting the new Pokemon game because it comes out tomorrow and I'll be going and getting it as early as I can from GameStop and I'll come back get everything hooked up and we'll be playing some we'll be playing some Pokemon like all day. We'll be playing it all day. Uh, what'd you say? I'm sorry. Let me let me go back over to chat. All them cheap games sound lovely. Yeah, and it's only a dollar for 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 the first month anyway. Then ten dollars. Not not too bad. After all this, I'm stuck between wanting to sit outside and watch the stars and think about life, or and just saying philosophy is unimportant and mindlessly staring at, at simulated rubber ducks. What is? That? <laughs> what do you mean simulated rubber ducks? I don't know. I mean, do whatever you want to. Blue Jay, that's that's what really matters. Just do what you want to. Whatever you really want to do. Just think for a second and then decide what you really want to do and do that. <laughs> because you can't you can't pick wrong. There's no wrong answer for how to spend your time. If you wanna if you wanna quote unquote waste your time or you wanna work your buns off, it's all it's all the same in the end. Let's see, let's see. Let's raid. Um Oh dang. Let's see. Let, let's let's see if there's a game that's actually fun to watch. Ah, uh, we could go to. Ooh, we could go say hi to Berry Patches. They're they're playing some Stardew Valley. That's a nice relaxing way to spend your evening. That's a nice way to spend your Thursday evening. And yeah, we'll we'll be here tomorrow at some time for Pokemon. I'm very excited. And just uh, just if you want to, you can join the Discord, and that will hook you up with notifications because Twitch is an absolute mess, and it will totally not uh, tell you whenever I stream. But uh, Discord's pretty good about that. Uh, let's get some hearts, and we'll just say scroll raid. This was loads of fun. Thanks, thanks everybody for for hanging out, playing this game with me. It was it was loads loads of 
fun. Uh, we'll just say squirrel raid like we normally do. I should I should come up with a more fun raid message, but not tonight. Not tonight, because I'm too hungry to think. I'm starving. Make sure that you'll get yourself some snacks. Get yourself some water. Take care of yourself. Get some good sleep. Get some good sleep. Take care of that body. No matter what your brain is doing, you got to take good care of that body. It's going gonna, it's gonna to support you. It's going to support you. Make your brain feel better if your body feels good, too. Make sure you're eating, eating some food. Getting a, getting a tiny bit of exercise. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okie doke. I think we're ready to roll out. Everybody, again, again, thank you so much for all the for all the support and stuff. I appreciate it. All the gifted subs. I, actually, I don't think there were any gifted subs. Thank you for all the subs. <laughs> for all the subs and the bits and the raids and the follows and everything. All the good things that Twitch loves to see. I super appreciate y'all. Thank you mods for watching over the chat, making sure that everything was easy. Easy peasy for me. Thank you, Jedi. And thank you, Divey, if you're still here. And thank you to um, to Alchemic and Lens as well, my other mods. And also, shouts out to the peeps with the, with the beautiful diamonds. People that have either been here for a long time or they, they've watched the streams for an exorbitant amount of time in a short period. Lemonberry, Kuya Cat, Kim the I Don't Know, Lady Pink Monster, Minnie, Moy, King of Squirrel, Nessie, Crane Couple, Anne, and Taiyaki. Thank y'all for thank y'all for being awesome, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'll be I'll be back with the games. Y'all say hi to Berry Patches. They are very adorable human being. You should give them a follow. They play lots of Stardew and other cute games, and it's just it's just good vibes over there. Love Berry Patches. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for hanging out. Bye bye. Love y'all. See you later. Sandwich nom nom. Amiris of uh, 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 Amiris. Always fun. Thanks thanks for hanging out with us and enjoying the game. Oi oi. Uh, Jake's Binks, thanks for being here too. Sandwich Nom Nom, Blue Jay, all the love. Okay, see y'all later. Bye bye. Beep boop, beep boop.